all of the characters. Oh, I, ow, out of all ow, of the characters, like, you think Atham is the man whore? What the but fuck? Zen is the man whore. Listen, I can't be both a man whore and a virgin. We gotta like put some middle ground here. <laughs> I do no, think this no, characterization no, is a virgin. <laughs> acts like a virgin, but he isn't. But it's like one really awkward time what? that he's not 100% sure it was the right way, so he doesn't talk about it. What the f- We still had that, um... Oh, hey, how's it going, Max? Hey, uh, Max. We had that. We did have that session a while back um, with um, uh, Andrew, where he was that weird incel monk. Um, which was- <laughs> yeah, no, didn't, don't lump me in with whatever the fuck his name was. Davis. God, how do you how do you remember that? But like, how do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, I don't remember I don't that. Know. Remember that, guys. That was important and formulative in my journey as who I am as a person. I joined at the wrong time. You did. <laughs> oh, by the way, Max, we you you remember that this is going to be the drinking episode, right? So, oh yeah. I don't know. Okay, He's I don't know if you're going to join us or not. Oh, he doesn't but. drink. He buys me beer, but he doesn't drink. Oh, okay. Uh, unless unless that's changed, Max. I don't know. I'm the designated driver. <laughs> that yeah. Okay. You can be the designated. You could be the DDM the designated. <sighs> Stri- D- the, uh, look at me, my liver is designated healthy. Designated DM? Yeah, I mean, designated DM, but I wanted to make it designated um, sober DM. Nice. Well, I'll be the DDDM, designated drunk dungeon master. Um, so we can we can get started. I won't I won't keep everybody waiting too much longer. Um, so we are, as you guys remembered. Um, there was a bunch of treants who suddenly started rousing after kind of falling in a ditch and um, sleeping off a hangover for a few hundred and years to the point of it being almost a millennia since they've woken up again and are going back for seconds. Um, to be clear, a millennia is what? A about month? About a thousand years, we'll say. And a half? <laughs> uh, last oh, that's right. <laughs> Ten I didn't know what a millennia was. Um, Ten. They all were 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 um, insisting on on some hair of the willow that bit them, um, and uh, with with uh, Ebb encouraging them and Atham trying to dissuade them as they made their way to what seemed to be a mystical Hobbit esque uh, bar called the Golden Pony, um, which we kind of pick up where we left off, where they're trailblazing. Ebb is in one of their hands, I believe. Yeah. Um, Atham is is somewhat begrudgingly, but somewhat willingly going along with it. I guess not, not begrudgingly. I'm worried. <laughs> Alcohol um, is very really conducive to uh, our the uh, our arboreal folk. <laughs> uh, worried about the uh, their arboreal livers, um, and um, <laughs> we have Zin and Lear and Cyril kind of, I guess, left in the mix. Which unfortunately, we've lost our Zin. Uh, Zin's Collapse on the back of the convoy. It's just being drug, dragged back how long by the horse or something. Cyril just like, oh my god, Zin, you're shocked into silence. He's, he's speechless, Lear. What are we going to do? <laughs> Lear doesn't say anything. <laughs> Lear is also shocked into silence. Lear is also shocked into silence. Tree ends have that natural effect on all, all Asimars. It's this, oh no, did she get more vodka? <laughs> Wait, are Triants like so holy that paladins fall silent before them? What? Can that uh, be known that they're like holy in the Church of Purity because they're a uh, no. brought to life figment of nature? We were just wondering no. why Zin was being was being so silent, but we could just say that he has his AirPods in. Um, I was getting the smoothie. His, was getting well, smoothie. nature is one of the primordial deities of this world. So. It's true. I mean, the church doesn't have nothing against nature. I mean, who doesn't like... Yeah, nature isn't really a deity, actually. So what about yeah, the just... spirits? Where oh, do they well... the church? Well, they're one of the main types of um, deities besides, you know, higher concepts in this world is, like, nature and elemental-based ones, and that's mainly Rhodia's shtick, because if you haven't noticed, they're big into plants and okay, nature nerd. and shamans and things and druids um but, but there's not you know, a god whether, called nature right there's but there's like not nature a, of gods. there are gods of nature but nature itself isn't exactly a god if that makes sense like there are yes, like that's you know, what like, i meant but yeah, i feel okay. like yeah. Rodians would go somewhere and like see a big natural landscape and be like this is holy 
Yeah, they, that, that definitely. Oh, we tracks. ain't in Rodia. Okay, so what what did I miss while I was getting smoothies? Uh, so so. We're at the pony place. To to paint the picture again, you have these treants who have picked up Ev, and Ev is encouraging them to indulge in their alcoholic habits. Um, cool. in their hand as she's she, they're explaining what a millennia is to her. Um, uh, Atham yeah. is trying to look out for his friends who um, are teenagers by treant standards, but are are quite old at this point by normal mortal standards. Um, and uh, Zin, Cyril, and Lear are kind of left um, <laughs> on the roadside, and I'm just kind of I want I was waiting for Zin to kind of take the lead on what was going on with that. Oh god. Um shit. So they're all just walking off and we're just all like here and Yeah. Um Ciro is looking at them and he's like You know, I've never been to a bar. Or a tavern, yeah. whatever the proper nomenclature is. Evan's head like snaps on a one eighty around. <laughs> I have like flash I think back and go like I have that and I get flashbacks to the very first episode with the milk. And I just get Zin just gets flashbacks, and he's like, looks like he's seen like a ghost. He's like, I don't want milk. He says that like under his breath, like. Uh, what, what 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 was that? What, what was that, Zin? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's 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 go. You know, after all of this, I I um. I think I could use uh, a, 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 some some levity after all the, all the near death fighting. These guys seem nice. So, what do you, what do you say, um, Your Holinesses? And he kind of leans over and points to Lear, and Lear just looks very nonplussed. Uh, let's go. Yeah. And uh, it decides to go in with them. Um, I feel like Lear would be like if he wasn't. A, a, a fucking ASMR. I feel like he would be uh, a bit of a drunkard. I feel like it fits his personality. Like, sitting in the corner, like, drinking mm-hmm. his, like, stuff and be like... Like in his fisherman sweater? Sure. Off in the corner of the bar. Fisherman sweater and the low cap. Yeah. Yeah, big pipe. <laughs> yeah. But he's, like, slightly more edgy than, like... like... He holds a vape instead of a pipe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh God! Oh. Where's so, chains and shit? Your vapes, it's canon. I would have expected him to be more addicted to cigarettes and like five hour energy, but I guess the the the. No, the... I feel like actually you're right. He's probably more of a cigarette guy, but he he'll drink some like whiskey and stuff like uh-huh. a bar. He pours, yeah. yeah, he pours like a cup of uh, vodka into his coffee. <laughs> yeah, he's dealing with a lot. So, um, with that said, you the treants are like, drink, drink, ebb, ebb. This is a terrible idea. As they slowly, boom, boom, to the to the tavern. As you guys can kind of see that, um, as it gets clo- as they get closer, kind of. Um, Certain shrubs part out of the way. There seems to be kind of a magical, mystical element to the entrance to this little clearing where it is. Uh, it's got a very nice little pond out front. Um, and you can see that the door starts to grow and lift to be able to accommodate for the tree at size um, as they uh, put their hand on it and uh, open the, the door. Um, Wild. It clanks open with a loud, you know, just... You can feel the weight behind it. Uh, air rushes past all of you guys as the massive strength of the tree ends, you know, is able to move this big object with such speed that it kind of creates a gust. And as you do, you can see inside is just a calamity of movement and noise and light um, where there are species of all kind from a lot of different planes. Um, there are cabals, there are dwarves, there are, you know, what look to be goop monsters, slimes, um, there are leprechauns and fairies, there are anthropomorphic animals, uh, there are just all manner of beasts, there are also elementals uh, as well, um, and just pretty much every sort of character and and just the whole kit and caboodle. Um, Great. 
And uh, as you get the, the answer, can be like, all right. What do you say, Atham? We buy the next round. Sure. Let me go. No let me go reopen my tab. And I'm going to go wander over to the uh, hostess. Uh, yeah, the hostess. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the, there's a hostess stand, we'll say. Yeah. 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 I'm going to head over um, there. And, um, or is there, or actually, it's the inn, isn't it? Well, it's kind of a lot of different things. It's like if it's, um, if it's an inn, I'm going to go to the concierge first. There's it's it's both a formal and informal place all at the same time. It's very paradoxical. So you go over to like the, the whatever the concierge the, will say, yeah. which acts as a hostess, acts as a concierge, acts. As yeah, a the, the main the main desk. I head to the front desk. You head to the front desk, um, which is a large rock kind of golem. Dressed in a uh, butler's uniform uh, with black tie, um, but also kind of got a sort of like grunge punk thing going on where he's got like the spikes around his wrists um, and collars and whatnot and a few like weird piercings and engravings. Um, all He looks up and he's just, ah, oh, Mr. Balthazar, good to see you again. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm a regular here. I know this guy. What's his name? Ah uh, yes, um, so this is uh, Cobalt, the uh, the main Cobalt balancer. or Cobalt, like as in Cobalt like the without the T. <clears throat> okay, Cobalt. all right. I mean, you can call him. You call you can, his friends call him Cobalt. But, you know, Cobalt mm. is his normal name. But you know, but you're a good enough right. person that or good enough, well acquainted with him. He likes you enough that you can call him Cobalt. All right. All right. Good afternoon, Cobalt. So I'm uh, I want to. Uh, Get my reopen my tab, uh, and also um, let's do four rooms. Ah, uh, very good, sir. Uh, I'll tell Jerry to make a couple real quick. Uh, any any special accommodations? You usually travel with quite the interesting crowd. I remember. Well, um, uh, I did. If you had to sleep outside, I don't know if they that's like do they do they like that or would they rather sleep inside? There's oh, room. you know, um, he's also going to see. He's like he leans over um, and kind of like the view around. He's like, ah, I see the answer back. That's good. We need a couple spare support beams. We'll 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 put them in place when they're drugged. They they love it. Don't worry about it. Excellent. Wait, Very four. good. Um, and that okay. So actually, let me just do some quick. My four rooms. Well, I assume Lear's going to want one by himself. You aren't sharing? Three rooms. Three rooms. No worries at all. There's always yeah. a room for you here, Mr. Atham. Or Mr. Balthazar. Yeah. I, um, I was counting the ends as the fourth group and wasn't sure if they wanted a room. Uh, if, you know, if we have a spot open, we'll keep it open for you. Don't worry about it. Um, no, no. Got some support beams in. Looks like a crowded place tonight. It's although I would have told the boss to to take out a second mortgage if I knew that you and your friends were coming by. Quite the quite the uh, legendary drinker, this one. Uh, he he shouts over to kind of the ants and they go Arr! and kind of a, uh, a a rowdy, you know, yell of affirmation. Um, but he says we've got it all taken care of. You just enjoy your stay as always, Mister Balthazar. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna head back to the group. All right, taken care of. Tables this way. Um, so you guys all kind of are able to seat yourself at a little booth table, except for the ants who are kind of all crouching down. Um, at the with these. Hmm? Sorry. No, go I, ahead. Please. I hate to interrupt. I'm just wondering since it's like a magical bar, and I guess like the ants and big creatures are regulars. Would it be like human size, or would they be like big booths? Like, would there be so, different sizes of boots? There's multiple sizes of boots, and it's kind of like you can kind of it would for a lot of you it might if you were paying attention um, a lot when you were first go, went into Artuzzi's restaurant. It's kind of similar to that where um, there's a lot of different environments to accommodate the different types of creatures that are in. Like, there's a bit of like water pools over somewhere for all the uh, and yeah. more amphibious and uh, scaly types there's you know some drier environments for the lizards and there's bigger and uh smaller places for the fairies you can see that there's like a little uh table on table for like um there's like one table that's for all of the fairies and they're sitting at what looks like 
you know, tables the size of bottle caps, like those little tables you put on pizza. Um, <gasps> like the tables that you guys use to lure the, lure the mice into out the fucking into our life. restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. You can see that so, there's a couple clovers that uh, that <laughs> that are also there eating with the uh, that are eating with the um, the pixies and fairies. Um, it's quite cute. Um, some of them are are are, uh, are also the waiters there. Um, what'd you say? Do the fairies ride the clovers like little teeny tiny horses? Um, yeah, some of them do. The, some of them also are, are uh, uh, pull a little, uh, you know, off their back and like use it as like a garnish on some plates and stuff like that. They make a salad off the 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 clovers. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, their their oh. coat. Um, and please feel free to interrupt me at any time because it helps me direct where we're going to be okay. going. I don't want to be so like... we're sitting in a booth that's like normal human size, or is it slightly larger? Because I want to um, know. It kind of has a gradient where it starts out really big and then it goes to smaller and smaller. So like, um, Atham and Lear, I'm, or whoever's on the edge, I would say I'm assuming Atham mm -hmm. and Lear because I think they're the tallest, um, are like at the bigger side. And if they went over a little bit, they would be like look like toddlers in in a in a grown-up seat because uh, it's so big but then it gradiates down to where it's like um ebb fits perfectly and she looks like a full adult almost in her seat because she's at the edge um uh, it looks like, it like a, a, one of those graphs that keeps going up a bar graph that keeps going up almost mm -hmm. okay cool cool <laughs> i love that okay cool, okay, cool. um so uh there's drinks around um Lear and uh, Cyril sit down. They look a little slightly uncomfortable with all the magical beings around. Um, yeah. I guess uh, Cyril's going to look around and he's going to be like, huh, I've never heard of this place. It seems to be quite quite popular. Um, Lear just is sitting with his arms crossed. Silent. <laughs> I love Lear. Um, and anybody, feel free to either ask questions or you know, ask them. You can you can make. Um, Do I have full authority to make shit up? You can make some shit up. Yeah. Fuck yeah! All right. Yes. No. Excellent establishment. Um, been around for three millennia. Uh, not quite as popular two millennia ago, but uh, travel really picked up between Temple and Oros. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen this many, uh, I guess, fairy folk, you might call them, or, or fae, as well as, like, just yeah. non-humans. Don't look them straight in the eye. They are uh, temperamental, even the kindly nature sense. Um, they're as likely to turn you into a toad as they are to uh, buy you around. They'll buy me around. 50-50. Uh, I'll just, uh, wait. <laughs> He's really going to push it back. Listen. Yeah, this oh, will buy us around. Here for a little bit. Lear, should we kill them? The, um, the Ents are going to be like, drink, 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 drink. And then they go up, um, and you can see that they, um, they, uh, talk to the bar, uh, the, the barkeep who is a, um, female cyclops, uh, with one horn sticking out um and they all get like what looks like big copper pots of um what seems to be some kind of wine um and so uh they bring it back over and they're gonna be like we'll wait for you guys uh everybody gets something for the first round so we can toast all right sounds good whatever you fellows are drinking i'm drinking yeah. And they like high five each other and they're like, Bar keep one more. <laughs> and they kind of reach their, their, their arm over and it goes really far and they grab another pot, um, copper pot. It's like, just right hey. through. Zin's like, he's trying to, he's trying to think because he fumbled the words last time. Because he got the milk. He's really, really stuck on this milk thing. Doesn't want that to happen again. He was embarrassed. He was sad. The milk got and spilled. And there's cobalt here. You better and watch out. And there's cobalt here? Yeah. And he doesn't want them near him ever again. They're, they're gross. Or his milk. 
Or his milk. I've had exactly. a brilliant idea. Atham is going to read Zin's mind and find out exactly what Zin wants, what the flavor profile Zin wants. Um, Zin, would you say that yeah. your mind is is open at the moment? Barely. I feel like he's also like the way when he's thinking like this about something so mundane about drinking, it's also kind of obvious on his face. Yeah, so I like, figured it would be like the, uh, like the yeah. very exterior part of brain. Yeah, is, I'm not trying to dig deep here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So he's, do you he's, think- he's open enough. So Atham could dig a little bit into like Zin really trying to think about what he should do. Like he wants to be cool, but he's like, there's a bunch of these like, like he doesn't want to embarrass himself or the church because he feels like he wants to be like a cool kid, you know? Ish. Sin just wants to be a cool kid, guys. I wish that I could be like a cool kid. kid. All right. Well, what what do you think? What even if you don't know a specific drink, maybe what do you think that um give the give the the the, uh, the spark notes of the drink? So yeah. What kind of drink do you think he would be thinking of? Um, I don't know. Probably like the. Probably nothing too sugary, even though that's what I would want. But nothing too like totally like hard. Though I think it would be funny if someone got him like a really hard liquor thing, because he didn't really understand. He just wanted to get what looked cool, like whatever Lear would drink or something. He thinks, like like I don't know if he's gonna go <laughs> like full like whiskey or just like get a beer. I feel like he's probably not. He's probably just gonna wait and then. Like, see what anyone else orders is kind of his strategy Mm -hmm. so atham reading his mind is probably you know just please choose for him he doesn't know what he doesn't know anything (laughs) two flaming angels for the young lads uh the uh the cyclops gives you a nod as they're shaking something um was that also for uh cyril as well was that for okay Um, the lad the, the young lad the young lad. Yeah, and then, um, what would you like? There is a menu in front of you guys in case anybody wants to take a look at it. Um, I could start. I could type it up, at least a few of them real quick. I'm not going to type up the whole thing, but I'll come up with a few ideas if people want me to put it in chat. I mean, I got my Treant Copper Pod of something. You can always look at it later. I'll start doing it, uh, but I won't put it in until later. Atham, do you know what you kind of drink you'd, you'd want? Oh, Atham's getting a... Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Oh, you know, just for starters, we're going to have something nice and light. Um, then the second course would be something a bit more interesting. Uh, it's going to get a... Um, ooh, let's, get a let's get one of this. This is a halfling-run establishment, you said? Or a hobbit, rather? Um, it's it hobbit. Yeah. It's like, it's like um, you know, like an Irish pub in a way is, is a theme yeah. bar, but it's not necessarily run by the Irish. It's, it's like that. So it's a hobbit-type establishment at the very least. All right. Well, he's, gonna, he's basically just going to get their, um, their uh, house, house beer, basically, to start. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll move um, on to the house wine, then house brandy, and then we'll have a nice... Um, Dessert, dessert, something to finish. Dessert, up. port, maybe dessert, liquor. We'll figure yeah. it out, I guess. We'll have one um, each. So, their let's see, their liquor uh, or uh, sorry, their house beer today that's on tap um, is going to be. Can we see what this is? Uh, the Aracocra IPA. Um, going to be mixed at uh, with hops and brewed at a very high altitude uh, as well with uh, mountain hops from the world's teeth mountains so what is uh, it, what very, does the i stand for an ipa of this world um Ingot. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone write that down that's that that funny uh interia cool. which is going to be a land from um oros um, which mm. is uh, we'll get into the backstory of that later, but I'll, I'll, I'll uh, sounds good. All right, I'll take that the interior. Wait, 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 let me do it in tidbits and factoids. Pale ale. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I think. It's I mean, good. we have established the dwarves make beer, so huh. they do. They do part. I was just the first thing that came to my mind that started with an I. 
Oh, oh I thought you were. I thought you were referencing the dwarves. Huh? Nah, I've lost all respect. Mountains, dwarves, but also the first thing that came to my mind with an eye was ingot for some reason. I mean, it works though. It was very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's all to you. Dude, these chocolate covered raisins are bussin'. Sorry. There we go. What did you say? The chocolate what? Chocolate covered raisins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Um. So. Beer is the size of my head. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so, with that being said, um, you guys all, uh, they greet, reach over, the Ents reach over, they give uh, Ebb um, their copper pot mixed with, seems to be some kind of like spiced wine. Um, the two church boys get, um, get some um, flaming angels, uh, which are kind of like this they're kind of like a scorpion bowl and that they're kind of a very large cocktail um coop thing um that are on fire but it's also kind of like a cappuccino in the sense that there is a angel drawn in like the top Aww. of the glass that's on fire specifically um perfect so that's exactly like, what i imagined honestly that's i love next. that perfect, perfect. um and then atham you get your aracocra ipa um, which is quite bubbly, uh, very effervescent. It's um, very crisp. Um, it's got a lot of uh, kind of like a hard, almost like a mineral taste as well. Like very, it's very strong body uh, with some 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 fruitiness from the hops. Um, and you can see that the uh, and uh, you guys look over and you see that somehow Lear just got a black coffee at some point somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> with like yes. vodka in it. <laughs> You'll never know. He's. Uh... You never know. I want. There's an inconspicuous bottle of standing beside his coffee. His cup. All right. Yeah. If anybody wants to try and guess, that you can give me a roll, and I'll see. We'll see what liquor he, <laughs> he might use in his coffee. Investigating his liquor. Oh. Yeah, investigating his good. Where did I put my? Dance? All right. It is a nineteen. Here's what happens. Eb is drinking. She notices everyone else getting their drinks. She see Lear just gets a mug. It looks like a pottery mug. That's strange. Eb investigates. So she climbs from tree ant to tree ant, like across the limbs, and it's kind of like a monkey. Um, but she's very noticeable because she's green and the tree ants don't have leaves. Unless they do, otherwise, great camouflage. And I'm going to try and hover over the drink and sniff it. So you mission impossible to sniff this guy's drink. Um, you see, you, you, you can see, you smell. Um, you smell that it, it's smell a bit of a coffee. Sweet, you smell, you smell a lot of coffee with a little bit of alcohol that kind of reminds you of home that you can guess is probably Rodian rum. Oh. What do you think it was? I said grog. There's grog. I mean, kind of. That's a, that's similar to grog. Um, the one that's from Rhodia that I remember. Where where did I put that? Did I put it in important items, maybe. Oh, I'm still making that list. Yens, Jarvisin, gravel paws. No, I was not. Did I put it in two bits and facts. I'll look for it later. Um, are you? What are you looking for? The uh, are you looking the, for this Athlon, looker that I made shelf? that was specifically for from Rhodia. That was the kind of like druid based <laughs> liquor that uh, was basically fermented. Um, plant life essence it was like um i had it in here somewhere i don't remember where i put it it was important at characters or it wasn't a character icon uh, uh eh, not good no we're going too far back all right it's fine it's fine don't worry about it um let's see i'm glad that i also finally got some extra lore out of there um and some of the stuff here yes. um but don't worry about it. Um, with that being said, uh, you guys all cheers it in the middle. Um, everybody clinks their glass. It's a very nice sort of um, feel-good moment. Um, does everybody have any sort of uh, uh, cheer cry that they do besides cheers? Um, or do they just think they say cheers in general? Uh, I, think I say I think cheers in end language, which sounds like a creaking sound. <laughs> <laughs> I think Zin's kind of just like following everyone, like 
kind of confused, but you know, that's kind of how he goes. He goes like, everyone goes cheers, and he goes, he's like a little delayed. He goes like, hey, cheers. You know. I feel like Eb mm-hmm. says salute or salute, salute. Nice. Salute. I can respect that. She doesn't know what what that means or That's where that comes from. That's what she's heard everyone it, said. So she's like, "Yeah, it makes sense." Century. It's a random, it's a random word. <laughs> French doesn't actually exist in this way. <laughs> um. So you guys, uh, everybody That's starts. True. To we got Italians. Food. We don't have the French yet. Well, the the we don't need uh, the French. No French. Those French. No French. For everything. God. Not the French. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought you Americans would have liked the French to show up. No. You liked it in every war you fought. Uh, I hate the French. I kind of. Don't get me started about the French in Indian War. And also. <laughs> oh, France. What were you eating? The. As you guys see that, um, Eb, you look over to see uh, what the Ents are doing with their drinks, but you see that they all immediately plant it on the floor and then stick their feet in it. Um. And they start absorbing the, the 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 wine through their through their roots on their feet. Well, they don't have digestive systems. This is why they stay so drunk they can't throw up. <laughs> exactly. And, you can kind of see that. And Sorry, go ahead. Thinks about it. Eb looks at her shoes and like contemplates it. Oh my god! <laughs> the custom, and that's what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Uh, he looks over, makes like, a mental note to uh, give a lesson of herbology next uh, <laughs> next year. Um, he's uh, uh, one of we'll the bring Morcella over. back to instruct us about tree biology. Oh God! Mar- we, well, when we get to uh, bio marine biology, than I am a fungi, Why? not a plant. I know, Mar- but Mar- but you are you are knowledgeable about many things. Unless you're not, which if you want to admit that right now, I was going to say, yeah, oh is Marcella, is Marcella going to give up? <laughs> you're going to admit that. Oh God, listen, the camera's rolling. I got bored. Cam, are you saying that you zin. wouldn't teach Eb about trees and plants? Why? Well, could. He's very confused. You could. But, but it would be, it would be, uh, <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's whole, wait, keep, keep, keep I taking a, I, it's difficult to see with your, um, with your uh, 1970s, um, I don't know chicken. why my camera just does this. <laughs> it's it it's annoying. Sudden... Yeah, that does look hilarious though. This, I can't tell what that on the right beside it is though. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was it just was the start of a sketch. Uh, um, it's gonna be someone else, but it was it's just Zin looking very confused at a little cup. So one of the answers is gonna go and look over at you, and he's gonna say, "Come on, Eb." Tops to bottoms, and you know he, you know it's because they they slam the thing down instead of bottoms up. Oh, oh. Um, it starts drinking faster. <laughs> um, you can see that they're 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 they become like before they were kind of more of a brown brownish grayish kind of color. Uh, they they as they drink they become kind of redwood looking esque, like they've been like wine stained. Um, and so now they're all like very like. Orange is reddish. Uh, looks very oh my nice. God, I'm half red. This is dope, man. One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. Zin is like. Zin is like. Why can't I be one of us? Yeah, I was gonna say. So Zin, Zin, this is like your first. Is this your first alcoholic drink? And what's the Zin lore on this? Um. I think there was one time where Zin had a bit once in a tavern because I remember he had a little bit and was passed out. I feel like there's something going on with the whole like Asmar biology and whatnot, or at least with Zin being a young Asmar and not very experienced with alcohol. Very much like it's like he has like, I don't know, like it makes him more like easily drunk. So he last time he got pretty out of it, like like just fell asleep. Uh, but this is like his second time ever, and there's this this funny little concoction in his hand, and there's all these people around, and he wants to prove that he's cool. So he's mm-hmm. just kind of very nice.
Yeah. How's the how's the smoothie? <laughs> you don't seem to be. Oh super no, no, that was me cutting me zin. That was okay. That was, that was okay, my good. Zin was, no, the smoothie's right. fucking great. It's just a smoothie now. Uh, excellent. <laughs> he like does uh, like that, and he goes like, "I forgot the stuff. Why does it taste?" Hey. Sarah's gonna look over, yet? and he's gonna he's, he's gonna be like, tip. "Whoa!" I. He's gonna be like, I can't do that. I don't think. I don't know. I, how how is it? Does it taste any good? He's gonna take a sip from himself. <coughs> oh, mm. smooth. Oh, that's burning. Oh, that's burning. Oh. Water, water, please. Can't can you just summon the water? <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And he's, he does, like, two, like, little things of water, right? And see both of your mouth. <laughs> they're, they're, they're drinking for the first you know, time. They're learning. They're, they're bonding. They are bonding. They are. Um, I think Sin will keep drinking. I think this is a, a good method. Party's only just started. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've just begun. Um, so, um, who... who we said that um summons water. Shocking. <laughs> oh uh, it's, it's definitely just choking. <laughs> what shocking. Uh, it sounds like choking and something else. Oh my gosh. All right. We're gonna move on. Like from like, that. So, oh, like like um no 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 we can't be demonetized. Yeah, we can't. No, like I need, chalk, I need like, the like, ad like, revenue. Like, like the stuff that you write on on, bo- on chalkboards with, like chalk. Yes, yes right. Chalk. Good. Okay. Excellent. Chalk. Excellent. Excellent segue. Let's keep with it. Oh my gosh! Oh, and one of the ends is going to be like. Uh, he's going to put their hand uh, on Eb, who's I think. Are you on his shoulder still? Are you in the back in the booth? Like, what, what's going on with that? Ub's gonna have crawled back onto one of the trance shoulders. Maybe she's sitting like in the crown of the branches on top of their head. I kind of like that. She's sitting on one of the trance heads. Um. All right. So he's gonna be like, "Good job." <coughs> hey, you drink- Sorry. Go ahead. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. You see, you see a couple of his leaves start falling off. <laughs> cool. Well, I warned you about. <laughs> you need another hundred years, you fucking fools. <laughs> I needed a haircut anyway. Oh man, I can cut your hair for you. I am a pro with scissors. Oh fuck Don't yeah! Don't let her near scissors. He, he hands you a pair of like, of like weird giant. Stone you have scissors. scissors. Like yeah, they're the size of it. Yeah. What? Do you want to cut his cut his leaves as in the hair? Do you wanna... like, I want to trim the leaves. I want to give him a nice haircut. All right. Tell me. Tell me how you do it, and be what hairstyle you're going for. Like you can even look up a a hairstyle example if you want to do that. But just go go with go with your heart. Um, I'm kind of thinking this is like hedge trimming, so I'm doing the like classic circular hedge shape, you know? The one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone. Yeah. Wait, you're going to give him a Jimmy Neutron haircut? Oh my god, yes, I am. Oh my gosh. All right, um, I want you to make me a... Oh god, what... Wait, you I need to do a nature or performance check, let's say. Performance? I am going to do it by using rope in my bag to hang off of the branches of the treant and other treants so I can get good leverage. Alright, I'll give you I'll give you um I'll give you like plus two for that. This is this is gonna be a high DC because this is a terrible um haircut A and B to give it to it. And what, are you saying, gross? what am I what am I rolling for? Um give me a D twenty with nature, so it's like a nature check. Or a performance check if you prefer that. I definitely prefer performance. Um fourteen. 
All right. <laughs> so you do I'll tell you I'll tell you you do a um you do a pretty good job. It's not perfect. There are some um you know extra leaves sticking out here and here like a little bit few errant branches, split uh split ends, split branches. Um what what do you think um I want you to describe what it would look like if a kind of a redwood had a fucking Jimmy Neutron haircut, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. If a redwood had a Jimmy Neutron haircut, it would be like a long skinny tree. And then all of a sudden where the branches start coming out, because it's like a pine tree, basically. They're cut. So it looks like a big rounded semicircle. Um, and then you do that again, so there's a smaller circle, and then it's a little triangle point at the top, but it looks a little fuzzy because not everything is trimmed to the right height. Um, I would say it looks like oh, kind of like toad, but less round and with a second layer on his cap. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I can dig it. Um, so, he's like, Sick, Balthazar, how do I look? Ath was looking on in horror. <laughs> but at the end, I'm sure, is looking happy. And all his buddies are, like, giving them thumbs up. <laughs> Eb, right behind the ant's ear, is like, You love it, right? <laughs> Atham, <laughs> you want me to cut your hair? No. I no. hold up the giant six no. foot sensors. No. No, definitely not. <laughs> um, you stay the hell away from me. <laughs> you just. You see, Atham, give me, Atham, give me a, a wisdom saving throw real quick. Yeah, cure a horror of the process. <laughs> well, I, I got a 27 oh on it, but. So for a second, you see a, a all of a sudden after you and Ev, like, I rock really eyes, you have the, um, the psychic you- future where you see um, what would happen if you let Ev um, do your hair and just horrifying. And I want... Either of you to describe what future you see if if, if Atham what wait, what haircut would you give Atham and Atham what would you do you feel like you'd look yeah. like if you let her do that? Yeah, you know, so I'll well I'll tell you the future after after uh, Reese tells me what haircut it is. I will give the the future accordingly. Classic no mullet. Doesn't he already have a mullet? <laughs> You see a million worlds burned in the fires of absolution. <laughs> his eyes and it's just Trillions die in horror as the world collapses around them. <laughs> this was Atham's bad guy origin story. It was just the, the one bad hair day. Atham with a mullet. Oh, God. Fucking horrifying. God. Um, one second. I don't know, but like, uh, Lear's kind of rocking the mullet. Terrible. Well, I mean, Lear's got kind of that 80s grunge vibe going on, so I think that's true. Atom like could never. Listen, but if you, if you're, I lived if you're like, shaming mullet, I have lived like, through seven like 80s. The mullet is overrated. So true. I mean, what? Or, well, well, five 80s, really. <laughs> Every millennia yeah. has an 80s, and they're all terrible. <laughs> Music's good, though. Oh no, it did it backwards. <laughs> and I can't spell. <laughs> I liked Mully. Mully was funny. Here, Mully those are four me. those are four cocktails I'll have up. Um Amazing. Nice. Um All let, right. me, let me re I'll um let me also redo the uh you know what? Reese, Tell you what, Reese. I want you to name um, the special liquor that, if you remember, what you drank in in Ravonia, the Red City, all those sessions ago. That um, you know is the druid kind of special. Like you drink it, and it kind of ha- gives you a special yeah. like 
it's like it's it's fermented druid juice kind of you know um so i want you to give it a name because i keep forgetting it and this would be much more special so uh what do you think the name of it is called so it's a how is it made like (laughs) so what it does is it's like um it was discovered by a bunch of druids because you know Rody has a lot of druids and is very connected mm-hmm. to nature. Um, they basically had um, you know the magic essence of um, the plants. It's kind of like I guess magic well, plant blood that is then the fermented. No matter what it is, it's the fountain of youth. That you want—that's what you want to call it—is the fountain of youth. Yeah. Okay. Um, Is there anything they would shorten that to if they were like, hey, I want a shot of Fountain of Youth, or would they just say a shot of Fountain, maybe? What about Lazarus instead? Oh, that's good. I like that. So yeah, we'll, we'll put it for both. No. We'll put it for both. There's the important items. I'll edit that real quick. All right. Um, so the um, the the ants are going to be like since you made me have a sick haircut ab you can choose the next drink uh and on us for everybody and he gives you like he pulls off a couple golden leaves and gives them to you he's like for the tab oh okay those golden leaves are just yellow i've I've been paying the tab this whole time (laughs) Eb fully believes their money. And ends ha- have no currency. Like considering shoving one of the leaves in the pockets. <laughs> they slept for two thousand years. Money. They don't have any money. <laughs> they don't have jobs. <laughs> they don't have jobs. Eb has been paying Ends for them every time. They keep saying they're paying them. <laughs> <laughs> they give a few rocks and a twix, and you're like, "Here for your troubles." Uh, yeah. Like, like, oh. God, thanks, man. <laughs> Atham is too polite to tell them otherwise. <laughs> and he will impress that psychically upon all of you. And if any of you break their hearts, I will kill you. Eb has a sudden chill going down her back and is like, what was that? Curiosity <laughs> somewhere. Um, and she, she goes up and she goes, Barkeep! Lazarus for all of us. But like a big one. Like not like many ones. Like oh. Yeah, uh, Greta, the the um the barkeep is like, you got it, and she pulls out like a big like it looks like a green it's like a jug with a bunch of like kind of more viscous um than water, but not like a cream or anything like that. Um, it's got like a lot of sparkling um and just flashes of light. Um, and you can kind of see like flowers glow and dis- or grow and disappear inside of it. And she pours like a big, like kind of scotch glass sort of size um, thing for everybody. Um, she goes, order up. And she places the big tray with all the nice glasses uh, in front of the, the bar for you. Um, um, I put down the leaves and I say, keep the change. I slide it normally across the table. So Yo! Put that in Yo, quoting the goat. Quoting the goat. The there goat. Was. She's like, oh. uh, yeah. Th- I think this is probably worth some of these fairy folk. God. Um, yeah, you got it. Keep- I forgot to consider the fairy economy. <laughs> um, she takes it in pockets and he's like, "You got it anytime." Um, and as you're going, um. As you're going uh, back, um, you you well actually give me give me an acro no um, give me a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, ooh, ten. Um, okay, you you avoid the worst of it. Um, so you accidentally, as you turn around, you slightly bump into somebody, and you know you hit you knock them pretty good. But you kind of wobble with the glasses, but you're able to keep them up. And you hear a voice say, hey, watch where you're fucking going. Hey, wait a minute. And it's the Frumps. They're back. He's like, hey, guys, it's that fucking little kid from the other time. Remember the one with the chicken nuggets? Hey, why the fuck are you red? 
Hey. Hey. Hey, Baroni. What's what's going on? Hey, hey, there's that anthem guy. This is with the delicious soul. Remember him? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh the flumps. Oh. Sorry, hey, you I didn't say those, flumps. Are those flumps. The, 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 the They're the brain guys, right? <laughs> They're the they're the, 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 the psychic jellyfish basically. Oh, okay. no! I just like to yeah. think of them as so psychic Florian jellyfish them, with like two googly eyes on the front of them. Oh no. I uh, I offer them some Lazarus. I'm like, yo, we're all we're all celebrating. Oh fuck yeah. Uh, he's like, come on guys, we've got some Lazarus shots to do with the gang and I think they, they come the over gang. and they don't have, you don't have mouths. What do they do have mouths? Oh my sake. Uh, actually, let's let's put another picture in they, there. No, they do have ma- they do have mouths. They do. They had to eat the chicken nugget. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No. True. No. I, on the on the D and D um uh monster manual, they have uh mouths. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is yeah. That's basically what I thought. Although I, their mouth for me was in a different place. Uh, I'll put it back in the character references just for so for reference for everyone who forgot. Um. Well, strictly speaking, we don't have to abide, and we shouldn't abide by Wizards of the Coast canon. Oh, yeah, Otherwise, no, they might anymore. take my money away. Those sons of bitches. Yeah, sons they're going to start making us bitches. pay for everything. Fucking drama. Hate them. Um, they come over, and they're like, Hey, look at this guy. Oh, a couple cool ants. You got a nice, nice red bark there, buddy. And he's like, Hey. You nice tentacles. It's like, hey, thanks. Yeah, I've been going to the gym. Um, and so everybody's passed around uh, shots of Lazarus. Um, and uh, uh, does everybody, including including Lear and I guess Cyril and and um, and uh, Zin, Zin, I want to. So I want to go back to you real quick, Zin and Cyril, and I just want to say that there's like. Um, as all this stuff is going on with Eb, um, uh, Cyril's kind of like, should, should we finish these drinks? I don't, I don't know. We haven't really drank much before. I, I haven't. I have you. Once, yeah. Uh, Cyril's kind of a little strange for some reason. Like, wow. Oh. Um. He's really struggling to come up with something to respond to that. Um, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's. You know what? This. Let's do this. Since you know what you're doing, I trust you. You, 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 you we'll take care of this. Um, and um, uh, he's like, all right, let's let's finish our drinks before I guess okay. before the next one comes. And wait, so wait, uh, wait. he drinks. Wait, uh, wait. Sorry, on go ahead. Of, on the count of three. On the count of three. Okay. One. Five, five, Four. three. three. What? And he like rushes to finish his, his drink as you do. And he's like, <coughs> oh man, it burns, it burns. Oh, it's not coming. Hold on. There we go. And then uh, more water is poured into your glasses to, to kind of wash it out. And he starts drinking. <coughs> so we're good. We're good. <coughs> Pat, Pat, Pat. I'm good. I, I swear, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, though. I appreciate the help. It's very nice of you. Yeah. Lear's just looking at him. like, pours more rhodian rum in his in his coffees. Oh, <laughs> Lear did not sign up for this shit. Lear is so done. Lear's He's so done. done. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me let me. Um, I want you to roll roll a um, roll a wisdom saving throw for Lear for me. Um, <laughs> so, okay. I don't know what his um, stats are. Don't but... worry about it. Just tell me what you roll, and I'll figure it out. It's got to be pretty close to plus. I rolled a fourteen. Ten? It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, so yeah, he he's got a lot of stuff to to bend. So he's fine. He doesn't have a mental breakdown or anything. But you can see that he's looking um, longingly at the tops of the ants. He's like, I could escape. No, no. <laughs> he, he just escape. wants to get out of here. <laughs> Poor man. Uh, he wants to sit in the trees. Down. Just be edgy. 
Someday, someday. Atham's cackling into his drink, uh, having strategically placed the ends so that Lear cannot escape. Let me hit that in that quote real quick. Never stop planning. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. Everything. Yeah, let me put that in. Um, so then, so out of curiosity, let me. What, what the fuck is this? I did not notice the anime GIF in in uh, what's. You didn't. <laughs> That's from a while back. <laughs> this, this, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've been trying to focus on the thing, you know. Um, Oh shit, there we go. There we go. And here's Athlon. There we go. Alright, so uh you guys all get your um uh, you all get your, your drinks. Uh the flumps um are also there and they're like, Oh man, we gotta you know, we heard from the B God that you, you also got us some you know, good soul stuff too. You know, if you ever want to, you know, just sell parts of your soul so we can have a snack every once in a while. Um, we don't really have money, but you know, um, what do we have, Joey? Oh, we got some, we got some lasagna. Um, got three bobby pins. Uh, hey, Joey, you still got that old sock, that old psychic sock? It's like, yeah. Yeah, we got, what, any of that sound good? No? Okay. I'm, I'll, An exchange I'll, is not equivalent. I'll, I'll let you, you know what? You look like you're thinking it over. You look like you got a lot of stuff on your mind, a uh, little green one. So I'm going to go over there. I'll let you think over that important business deal. But, you know, Flump's, Flump's got the art of the deal, you know? We got it down. So don't, it's, we understand if we're intimidating. Uh, but yeah, Joy, let's go Reese. float over there for a second. Reese, check your DMs. Uh, oh. Moment. I was thinking about. Can she try and swindle oh, the flops no. part of their soul? You have some of the flops' soul. <laughs> Adam was about to head over there, but he hears Eb thinking this is like, ah. I'm going to stay out of well, this. It's good. Good. He wanted to take some of my soul, which is making me think that. Eb would all of a sudden be like, whoa, you get to have my soul and I can't have your soul? Like, what type of life is this, man? Like, I know, right? It's almost as if... So you don't want me to have your soul? I'll have your soul. So Eb's thinking about how to get his soul from him. It's almost as if there's disparities in the cosmic world. Eb oh, no. it and she's about to screw it up. <laughs> um, everybody, did everybody take a drink um, as, after... <clears throat> So when you're done coughing, uh, everybody has their drink placed in front of the Lazarus. Um, Actually, uh, does everybody everybody want to drink that? Is everybody going to have a have a start sipping it? Yes. Zin, yeah, I like, yeah. Look at it and go like, it's not milk. Eb is into it. Eb just uh, down and out, and then gags because it's alcohol. And I'll be right back. Okay. I think mean, Zin does the same. Zin's really trying to look cool. Mm -hmm. Um, Lear's here. He wants to impress Lear. Uh, he just, you know, he wants to be cool. Food does it. Was hoping for a glass of wine, but he'll he'll, he'll have it. Uh, also, by now, Zin is. Mm. Well, speaking He's starting of... to lose it. He is too much of a lightweight. <laughs> I mean, it makes um, sense. He is, like, starting to get... Like, the little things on his cheeks are starting to glow a bit, you know? Because he's, like, getting a little flushed. Ah, uh, yes, the Asimar glow. It's called. The Asimar glow. That's what happens when they get, like, instead of blushing, they, they glow a little bit. Side note, and uh, Max, you should cut this out of the video for uh, monetary reasons. Uh, what is everyone at drinking-wise? <laughs> 
Well, I'm actually I finished my thing, which was going to say this is where I'm hitting round two of everything. Um, oh, I am. I, I I'm drinking a, a claw now. Drinking the good old yeah. claw. Yeah, because I'm in Canada right now. Yes, yes of course. <laughs> the the drinking fun. age is 18 in Quebec. Yep. Yes. What is wait? What is it generally in Canada? 19. 19. 19. I'm I'm 19 I'm, anyways. I'm almost yeah, yeah, yeah. anywhere. Because. But we could also move to Europe where it is 12. Yeah, that it's, is it's not existent basically. All right, I'm going to I got wine when I was there and like I think I was 12. I might have been 10. I don't remember. Yeah, they I don't care. Oh, they offered to, they offered to give me a glass of wine and I was so happy. Yeah, they don't give a fuck over there. Um here. It was, it was so much fun. The is not going to live, this. man. It's gonna, it's got a popper, so I don't want to get a bunch of wine all over my shit. So give me uh, one second. Get over if you do it well. How you doing, Cameron? I'm doing pretty good, eh? Hey. Oh, hey. there we go. I heard. Oh, that's I heard fine. The, the good. Good. like. I heard. No, he like, eh. Hey, he's like Canada, bro. That's crazy. Uh, I'm pretty Canada, <laughs> eh? Listen, I don't have to care. I'm about pretty great white North thing. Eh? Yeah. I'm pretty. I'm pretty north. Yeah, I mean you're pretty north anyway. We're out in a boot, eh? A boot, a <laughs> out in a boot. The boot, the boot, the boot. I'm not your buddy, guy. <laughs> I'm not your buddy. <laughs> buddy eh? I'm not your guy, buddy. <laughs> I'm not your. I'm not eh? your guy, friend. <laughs> I'm not your friend. Hey, buddy. I, I don't know what he said. Hey, hey, buddy, say band the uh, fun. Uh, take off, eh? <laughs> oh, and now that we're in the bar, here, let me let me change to more mood lighting if I can. Bar lighting, damn. I don't have bar lighting. I've got, I have my single blinding white light of vengeance. So, yeah, that's still way, this is much more than I would have thought. Oh, well. Uh, what, let me try this out. How, how awful is this? Let's see. All right. So everybody who, who took a drink of the Lazarus, I need. I want you guys to roll me a D100, which you can look up real quick, or I can do it oh, for you. Oh, my God. I got it. That's terrible. We're not doing that. D100. D100? D100, yeah. No, me, oh, my. Oh. I have to... 93, bitch. 48. Oh, okay. This is weird. Um... Pretty close to average, as always. No, I don't want to like stop it. I want it to just roll way up. above average, as always. Mm, unless rolling high is bad. Seventy-one. You never. Like, this is why you stick to average, in case in case the DM shakes the rules up on you. Why would I ever want to be mean? Never, be, um, never what be did caught. You say yours was uh, 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 Zen. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna be like, he's gonna, be like, he's gonna have like magic. your seventy-one percent drunk or something. This, this, this is why <laughs> Zin's fucking out of it by now. Zin this, is this, not this, going to be after this. This is why you stick to average. I started on the wine. Um, so the uh, Atham. Sorry, it took me a second here. I got to figure out all this stuff in one second here. So, Eb, you start to feel uh, like you're slowing down a little bit. You start to become a little creaky. Um, and all of a sudden, you become kind of like a little Pinocchio mini ant thing, um, where you grow, you know, a thick skin of bark, um, some leaves and little sprouts, maybe a little fruit if you think so. I don't know what kind of what kind of what kind of like little tree do you think you'd be, like a bonsai or a fruit tree? I. Okay, there's this little teeny species of tree, and it's like a mini pine tree, and it's awesome. It's some type of fir. Um, I used to have one, but my sister's friend took it. But that's the type of tree Eb would be. So it's yeah, like so you look like a little little fir tree, kind of like um, like you're wearing a little um. It's almost like a, like um, one of those outfits that has like a, a hoop skirt, but keeps going a little bit. But it's all green and pine needly, right? Okay. You know, okay. Um. Atham, as soon as you take um, a sip of yours, you kind of have that moment where, like, in movies where 
it kind of stays on one point, but then it zooms out, you know, where you're having like, and your eyes go a little uh, bit wide. But as you feel like what happened to your body, you don't notice any physical change. You look down and you realize that um, there is a huge chasm underneath the entire table right now. And the only thing that's holding you guys up is the, is the table and the, the seats. So if any of you fall off, you might fall into a big pit. Um, uh, I had two drinks. I'm not that. I, I, I have oh, no, far real. Works. That's, that's oh, real. No, it's real. Like this oh, is wild what? magic. That's yeah, what this is this is completely real for everyone. Um, everyone Abby is, is now a tree for everyone else too. So, um, fuck you, dude. The, it was, the bee was bad enough, but the tree is down too. What the <laughs> fuck? Ab wild magic. Um, we are and in like then, a bay land, so. Zen, you kind of feel you I like glow and you glow a little bit more, and He's all of a sudden you kind of like get seized with a, a white light. Um, and as you do, you can feel the plants around you start to grow. And so all of the ants are like, Whoa, who bought, brought angel dust to the party? And then uh, they start growing rapidly, including Ebb. And so their roots start going all over the um, entire uh, establishment, kind of creating this oh. weird, thick rooted oh. um, terrain. Uh, it does create kind of a little bit of a canopy below where you guys are. Um, so you could jump down. It's kind of like a net. There's still some ways to fall through. Um, so everybody is kind of uh, – there. All the ants are starting to like spread out a lot right now, and so is Eb on top of them. Um, mm -hmm. Reese, do you think Eb is freaking out, or do you think that she's kind of like enjoying going with the flow, sort of? Um, I want to say turning into a pine tree wouldn't phase Eb. I feel like she's had vivid dreams about turning into a tree. Yeah. Um, I do feel the giant chasm that appeared freaked her out a little bit, though. Because she was like, fuck, now I'm a tree. I'm slow. Can I jump as a tree? I'm not going to be able to make it across this chasm. Um, the tree ants are going to look over at you, Atham. They're going to be like, Atham, or Balthazar, you're not trying to plant us again are you you keep telling us we're gonna have to settle down eventually and they kind of point to the giant chasm mm -hmm. we don't want to necessarily be planted yet man come I on i'm wanna... desperately trying to think of this as like he, he, he's in tune with higher states of being he's, he's trying to think is he on drugs right now or is this is this tangible i i, I can tell the difference between reality and fiction mm -hmm. can't i <laughs> Are you asking us or you're asking are you asking me as a friend wow. or as a DM? This this is this is this is it's both actually. It's in character and out of character at the same time. That's the beauty of it. Never be, never stop planning. Up goes, so, oh uh, I don't know. Both? Oh my god. Do I do I, okay, is there okay. okay. That, I, I've got a bit of experience. This do I do I know? How do I, how can I know? Is there is there a way I'd be able to tell? Is there a way I can um, tell? You, you, so wait, okay. Lazarus, Lazarus is known for doing this shit. Like, this is kind of like it, it's a Rodian, it's a big Rodian drink, very cultural. You would have yeah. probably, all right. So, it. I shouldn't, so okay, so I wouldn't be freaking out. All right, okay. I don't think you'd be freaking out. This is a bit more powerful than what it is. It's probably because you're in the setting you are that it's the magic is a little right. bit, okay. Boring. All right, so okay, I can rationalize it then. So, this is we're probably fine. So, in that case, I'm just gonna play it up. Um, what? Yeah, no, get in the get in the get in the pit. <laughs> you trying to get them to settle down? <laughs> so, listen, boys, you've been, you've been uh, going hard. You, you, need, you, need, you need to cut back. You're, listen, you're fucking wild. Uh, tell you, what, tell you what, give me give me a persuasion check on that. Guys, my cat is. Oh, would you believe me if I rolled a nineteen plus whatever my modifier is? I would believe you. What, what did you say, so Sorry. Guys, my cat is asleep and he's snoring. It's the cutest thing ever. That does I love cats that snore. I'll, like, send a photo of him. He's so nice. freaking cute. My bitches snore, but I can't blame them. They're so cute. I love when cats snore. They just go... They sound so dumb. They sound so... It's so It's, cute. like, not even a snore. It's so cute. It's so cute. Atham, what did you get for a persuasion check there, buddy? Five. Oh God! So the the you can see that the 
the, the chance look at each other and they're going to be like you know Bertrand I think Balthazar is right we've we might have a problem buddy we're like <laughs> I knew it. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to admit it to myself. All right, fine. I guess this is what we need. We'll just, you know, a few centuries, a few centuries of being tied down in the domestic life. It might do us some good. All right, guys, let's get it. What's let's get a in few the centuries to people like us? Come on. Fair enough. All right. We'll, we'll be back to the bender in no time. Yeah, somebody, can you get us some pretzels, though, real quick? I'll get you anything you want. Okay, great. They start to crawl into the, um, into the, um, into the chasm, and they, they all like kind of fill out with the rapid extension. They they um, are able to place down roots in this big hole, and uh, they fill it in. Um, and now it's just kind of this sort of outcropping in the middle. It's a nice centerpiece to the to the um, to the tavern uh, with just this these nice looking redwoods. Um, being right there. Uh, they've got, you know, a few faces and whatnot, but you can see that they're all sobering up um, and they're just trying to relax for a second here. Um, I don't know. Eb, do you join? <laughs> um, I want to say Eb starts, like, going with the tree ants because she's like, yeah, these are my homies. They're not guiding me astray. But, like, Cyril kind of grabs her and is like, no. <laughs> no, stop. Like, that's not for you. <laughs> No, well, actually, so Sarah's going to be like, wait, wait, hold on a sec. But then he's going to look over and, like, all this talk about the domestic K life. And he's pretty gone now, too, because he's also had a couple drinks. And you can see this all this talk about domestic life. He looks at them, he's like, that's what I want. <laughs> domestic life. He's going to look at Zen and be like. He's trying not to look at Zen too much. He's like, he's like he wants to, but he's really trying hard not to. Zin's oh. just gonna pat his shoulder, comforting. He's oblivious. He is oblivious. He's drunk and he's always oblivious. It's okay. The green one makes me mad too. You're all over the corner. Atham's burning a hole in the astral plane, trying to keep some semblance of sanity in himself. Drinks <laughs> <laughs> drinks these days. Yeah, listen, I haven't, I haven't had a, I haven't had an episode like this. In, Millennia. Long. Having a midlife crisis. I had my midlife crisis in the third century. That was rough. I started an empire. It was awful. Everything, I'm everything having went down. an end here. life crisis. No, not in life. No, I'm too. I'm. I'm not too young, but like I still want to live. <laughs> You should, you should be careful with the prophetic powers running around and all that. What you, what you say might end up being true. It's okay. I'm only saying bad things about other people. Eb will be fine. Uh huh. Yeah, Eb doesn't have any sort of abandonment is- issues at all. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. You know, uh, <laughs> let me. I'll roll. I'll, let me roll real quick for this one. Roll for Eb's abandonment issues. <laughs> roll for. <laughs> so let me put that one in. Into quotes of the day. That's good. Uh, I'll do high or low. Let me try this one. Okay. So uh, Cyril's going to look at um, Zen. He's like, wait a minute. I've got an idea. What? What if we what? adopted Eb? I don't like Eb. No. No, 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 no. Adopt no. like a bird or something, not a. Ev- no, but well, you can't. I mean, you what? You can adopt a bird, but well, not a. Ev- Zin's god too. Zin is also god. But a bird doesn't make it a home. She'll make it a home. No, she's so annoying. <laughs> oh, don't on. talk about your sister like that. Okay. <laughs> Not but really notice that, that Zen doesn't deny he wants to live with Cyril and adopt something together. Exactly, exactly. It's the slow wow. burn development we've been looking for. Exactly. Eb's living for it in the corner. You, Eb, yeah, I was going to say Eb doesn't <laughs> feel like 
this is he's saying this pretty openly. Like he's not he's drunk and he's not trying to hide it. So like I, Ev, Ev is now hearing this. Ben loves her. Ev is there like this fucking Nim, Nimrod. I know he likes me. He knows he likes me. He just won't say it yet. We're bonding. We're siblings. But <laughs> Cyril's gonna put his arm around uh, Ev and he's gonna be like he's gonna be like, listen, if we feed and water her and put her in a pot with fresh soil every day. She'll grow into something great. Can't you see that, Zen? Which is so annoying. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> but she keeps her bristles year round. That's worth something, isn't it? No. Yeah, I'm still a no. tree. Uh, yeah, no, Ebb's an evergreen. Uh, yeah, she's an evergreen right now. Oh, uh, uh, she's an evergreen one. Half red, right, half uh, evergreen. How, how hey, about yo. this? How about Every this? Cat. Eh? Cat. Cat. Oh, God. Knife cat was heresy. Shut the fuck up. I no, knife cat hand. is part of the church, so we, we get a yes, cat. We get it good, good! Yes, I win, Here just like me. always. <laughs> what? It's like, we can. Oh well. Uh, sorry, we kicked. We kicked. Uh, I kicked Max for the pun he made. Um, uh, but Cyril's gonna respond. He's gonna be like, "Yeah, you know, kn- <laughs> knife cat. Uh, I mean, cats are cats are sacred thanks to knife cat um, so to the true. church. So tr- so brave. So true. So, so brave. I want a cat right now. And he's just gonna just flop gonna... like that on his shoulder. He is getting drunk. I want a cat. Yeah, yeah, there's <laughs> Lear's Lear's gonna be pouring more uh Rodian rum out of a flask into his coffee, just just shaking his head at this all of this. He's really annoyed right now. Lear's um, like you made him fing depressed looking at Atham. He's not he's not looking at anyone, he doesn't blame anyone but but he's like it you know, it, he doesn't really blame anyone but Sid at this point. <laughs> No! Depression. Since a youngin, he doesn't know shit. Exactly. He's like, they, they weren't ready to release you out into the world yet. You should have been more years at <laughs> the monastery. Um, More years at the monastery. They're too poor me to be let out into the open. More time at the Basilica. Good torments. Um... Let me see here. Uh, Atham, Atham and Zin, or sorry, Atham and, and Eb, give me, give me perception checks. Wait, after he's okay. desperately trying to ground himself, he wants to participate more in the party. Um, uh, twenty-four. Oh shit! All right, twenty-three. Dang. All right, so yeah, close. you both. Um, you notice there are a few cloaked um figures kind of around, um, and um. You know, they're small though. They kind of remind you of like some cloaks you've seen somewhere, but they're not they're not really that tall for some reason. Um and Atham, you said you're trying to ground yourself. What do you what does that entail exactly? Well Well, there's two ways I could do it. One is just through sheer will, the other one is through casting myself into the astral plane, hoping for the best. Um so I'll try the first one first, where I just uh, yeah. I want. Right, I want to try and bring myself back to reality. I want. I listen. There's a whole party out there. I want to experience the entire party. <laughs> the party? Are you talking about the party on the astral plane? Or are you trying to tell yourself to ground yourself yeah. to your friends? Right? No, now? no, no. Like, there's like an in like this whole restaurant is packed, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Atha wants to get involved with that. That sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, tell you what, give me, give me a, what would I make that? Why don't you give me a, I hope um, saving throw would be pretty cool. If it was a saving throw, sure, give me, give me a wisdom saving throw. I was going to say intelligence, but that's fun, too. <laughs> either, either or, really. Uh, I rolled, and I am on fucking fire tonight. 18 plus something. Um, that's something Way to being yourself, man. plus 7. 25. Nice. 
So, you can feel that things are starting to get toward the end of the day. Um, the Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, Apollos, the guy who was uh, there earlier, the three-armed guy, uh, has just been kind of hanging out outside as a lookout this entire time to watch the horses. Um, so I forgot to mention him earlier, but uh, he's just been kind of outside hanging out. Is he not going to come inside? Um, he will in a moment, maybe. Um, you're going to feel the minds of everybody just kind of chattering and relaxing with friends. Things are starting to get later in the evening. It's going from kind of the dinner rush to more quieter to more of like the bar party scene yeah. where everybody's kind of like talking to yeah, each that's, other. Yeah, that's, what he's, that's what he's getting ready for. That's the, yeah, that's, that's the place to be. That's the rush. Um, and so, yeah, everybody's like kind of vibing and, and feeling it. And, you know, they're starting to move around. And like your group's gotten a bit of attention because you got the flumps there. You've got the treants there who kind of spread out all across the thing. And people were kind of like, whoa, what's going on? You know, I tripped over this route. I was trying to see where it was going. They're not angry per se, but they're just kind of like mm. interested in what's going on. And you see this, this crowd starting to gather over this new centerpiece that you guys have directed. And people are now starting to chit-chat, exchange – or d'oeuvres and, and drinks more, you know, people are ordering different uh, cocktails. And now it's kind of starting to devolve where it's like, it seems like Zinn and Cyril are no longer in their booth. They're kind of just crying on each other, talking about this and that. Zinn um, doesn't cry. They're just talking. They're just talking. Sorry. They're just he leaning cry. on each other's shoulder, sadly. Uh, no, he's, no, he's just drunk, like in a drunk way, not sadly. Uh, uh, the drunk way. They're the same thing. No, it's like a, it's like a, like comfortable, you know. It's only sad drunks. I won't refuse to believe otherwise. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have living proof of the existence of not sad drunks. That is fair. Yeah. Eb, what do you think you're doing as this kind of like party that. progresses toward toward like a more like evening like. Uh, what would be the right word? Like, kind of formal, not formal, sorry. Like, adults get together, uh, sort of meet and greet sort of situation. You've got a bunch of different, like, uh, golems and elementals. You've got kobolds. You've got dragonborn. You've got elves. You've got fairy and fae that are flying around everybody's head and kind of saying, What's up? Um, you've got lizard people. You've got uh, snakes and aracocras. Um, you've just got every sort of mix on the planet here. And you've also got a few uh, cat people. You've got a few people from Rhodia. You've got a few people from Temple on Aris. Um, you've got a few sly monsters as well that are just um, having people throw um, tankards of ale into them as they slowly dissolve everything, cup included. Um, what do you guys, what, what is everybody doing, I think? First, I want to say awesome about the acid. Second, um... Can I just roll and see what in the bar catches Eb's attention? Because I can't pinpoint right now what she would be most excited about, because there's a lot going on. I think your mic is off. Thank you. So tell me, tell me what Eb's, in terms of Eb's mental state, like if she's more relaxed or she's more on, like vigilant on, like on edge. And then give me the roll. I want to say Eb becomes paranoid when she's drunk. Because, like, she's so relaxed and at ease until her body is like, wait, you're too relaxed because of assassin training. So she, like, just seized Aww. up because everything in the party got quiet. And she was like, mm -hmm. she's kind of vigilant, but she is drunk. Okay. Give me a perception check then, yeah. 16. So, you notice that there are more of those hoods that you saw earlier. And um, as you're looking around, you see that there's like kind of a smaller one, but wider, if that makes sense. You know, kind of a portly looking one that's kind of coming over toward you. Um, and, uh, as he does, uh, you hear a voice say, I can't believe you'd come here on the day of my, my nephew's birthday. 
<gasps> and uh, he pulls down the hood, and it's uh, Don Cobalt, who uh, had shown up earlier that also got transported into the underdog uh, a while back. And he's like, I thought we all got transported into the underdog and that you were dead. How could you show your face here again? Oh, shit. Well, oh, well not this it. place, but in a bar where I am also at. The de- level of disrespect. Look. May I? Am I? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No. Look, Vinny, buddy, baby. See, Whoa. in our line of business, things get hairy, and I didn't know how I could trust you or feel about you with my uh, family around. What but family? it's an important business. I understand. And I, uh, I do apologize. I'd return the hat, but I, uh, I sold it for, uh, drugs. You gave it to, um, you gave it to Garla, I think. <laughs> Garla. I remember that, but I'm trying to spice it up. <laughs> you also stole, first of all, it's Stom Vincenzo. Vinny is for friends, and you, my friend, are not a friend. Secondly, Vincenzo. Uh, I, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Also, let the lady finish. I was just. I'm not there. I'm elsewhere in the bar. Oh. Don't worry about me, Vinny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a psychic premonition. God. Sorry, what were you, what were you saying? Ed? All, all Eb was saying was uh, re- reacting to being forced to call him Vincenzo and not Vinny. She was like, Vincenzo? She's heartbroken. You also still have my precious bracelet of mending. Or weaving, sorry. I'm a little drunk. Um, you, you mean ring of weaving, and I I know nothing what, you, what you're talking about. You're literally fucking wearing it right there. <laughs> I was looking at the ring on her finger and polishing it to see her reflection. Eh? What? What do you say about me? Oh, my forgots. Uh, as he's saying this, you're going to say that one of the flumps comes like, Hey, Vinny, what's going on? And he's like, Hey, you know, about those five bucks. He's like, Shut the fuck up, Johnny. I'm not talking to you right now. Whoa, whoa, hey. We don't have hey, to be hey, like that. Be cool to my bro, Johnny. He don't deserve none of this. Yeah, listen to the little lady. We're, we're just trying to close. I'm trying to close a deal, Vinny. We're trying to get a little piece of the delicious soul for some, for some lasagna, okay? Just. You're fucking ruining things here, Finny. Get the fuck out of here. Like, Shut the fuck up, you little flump bastard. I'm dealing with her. All right? I got business. Uh, <laughs> it's like, all right, listen. Give me my hat back. Give me the ring. And we can all go back to drinking like friends. Alternatively, I give you a pet dog. And we call it even? I bet you want companionship. I bet you want... I lost my Italian accent. You went a little British there. My Italian accent. I bet you want someone to... I speak Italian. 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 I bet you want someone to hang out with you on the cold nights when it rains down near the Bullywug Caves. You're starting to fucking scare me a little bit. You're starting to fucking scare me a little bit. Sorry, I also forgot my deep... I'm so sorry. I I, I have been drinking the triads all night. Oh, that's that's a little dangerous. I don't know how you did that. But what are you, what are you talking about? I'll take a dog, maybe. What dog are you offering? All right, all right. I got you the perfect dog. Let me show you. And out of my cloak of holding, I pull out one of the Mastiffs. Oh, that's right. You do. I think you got, yeah, you, t- you already used one, I think. No, because I rode Boris. I didn't need to use the other Mastiff. Well, that was the thing is that I think I, was it? No, you didn't have the Because we made there. Atham and Lear go on the same one. Right. The same yeah. one. And I had two horses. Yeah. Yes, that's true. It's true. Um, Stoic silence for miles. Um, I want to describe it. it sure, is- yeah. A full-grown mastiff, so like it's a big boy, um, but it's white. I mean, it's black with like a white nose pattern type sitch, and 
super fluffy because it was from Eb's magic cloak, so it's kind of cute. Aww. It's very sweet, but, yeah. And it's it's sweet. It's a good doggy. Of course. Good doggy. All doggies are good doggies. So, with that, um, he's kind of like, hmm. I shall accept your proposal if you're willing to trade this doggo for your life on the day of my son or my nephew's birthday. Hey, does your nephew also want a puppy? I want to show my gratitude to you as a not the other puppy. more than an acquaintance, almost oh. friend. I mean, your family has done so much for me. Just want to pay back. All right, give me give me a persuasion <laughs> check with this, honestly, because you you kind of did like rob him blind and like leave him <laughs> like I did. You, you took his drugs and then just took all of his shit and left. So I, this is it's gonna be kind of a high high mark to 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 beat. A twenty three. That's pretty good. The dog gives him puppy dog eyes. So. He's going to he's going to do that and um he's going to uh he's going to like all right All right Lorenzo get over here and you see this like little this little um this little uh kobold's like mini mini like even tinier than him it's like what's up uncle I got I, uh, I got you a birthday present look over here and it's like uh make with the dog I produced the second Mastiff, and it's all white with black spots, so it's the opposite of the other Mastiff, um, but it's insanely cute. Mm-hmm. And it's a little bit smaller, because it's younger. Um, so he's like, yeah, so it's, it's the, this is the, these are the perfect dogs for us. Uh, he grabs out a, he breaks out a saddle, um... To, and, and he starts uh, hooking it up to one and then hooks it up to the other one. It's like, uh, Lorenzo, get on your steed. It's like, okay, uncle. Stunning. Stunning. Up there, you guys look majestic as fuck. Like, you're gonna be like, okay. <clears throat> All right. You've cleared your blood debt with me. But. Hey, hey, hey. One, one more thing, because I still, I still feel bad. Uh, I want to give him the ring of weaving, because I can use disguise myself now. No! Uh, Damn. I feel Don't bad. Him. Don't feel bad, bro. He's a I feel football. bad. He's got at least a nephew. He's got That's, family. He's, you gave them two massive. He's yeah, part of the mob. Them. Of course he has family. That's the whole point. Don't give him more shit. Don't do that. Don't get rid of the wing and ring. I need that for me. That'd be funny. It's for more funny time. I like to pretend Zin's kind of well. No, Zin's busy with Cyril, but he. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would be funny if he was like, "Hey, if someone needs no. to step in, I'll you know, yeah, go c- continue. After we'll step in later." Mm-hmm. Um. Well, he's gonna be like, "All right, you've." He's going to take the ring. He's going to put it back. He's like, you've corrected an injustice this day for Don Vincenzo. You are allowed, in, again, to call me Vinny. Vinny. Oh, Vinny. I go to hug Vinny. The joy in my heart today. The, the joy, Vinny. The joy in my heart. Mm. Whatever. Oh. oh. Okay. The joy, the joy in my heart today. I lost the accent. He's gonna, yeah, you kind of did. Um, tell you what, why don't we just clear the air? Um, hey, Sammy. Uh, and you remember his big dragonborn brother, um, that was originally going to be the guy who was like messing with you in the under uh, in the sewers below when you guys were fighting Torsen, uh, who also got teleported away. It's like fucking finally, and um, he's going to strike 
Um, let me roll for this one. Oh no! Fuck! What? I thought we were chill, man. I gave you dogs. All right. Uh, he's gonna strike Zin. Um, you can oh, see fuck. that this, right. this large dragonborn um takes a huge wind up and like cracks Zin in the ribs and sends him flying through the the bar. Um. And Don Vincenzo is going to be like, it's okay, it's okay. This is just like um, um, like a friendly bout to get out aggression. You know what I mean? There's a there's a um, a charm on the bar. You can't really get hurt in here, but you get to strength equal to how drunk you are. And we're fucking plastered. And he like uh, pushes you, and you go flying as well uh, through the hole where Zin is, and you land on top of him. Um, so now you guys are kind of all of a sudden a, ball, a brawl is starting to break out around you. Guys. I want to, uh, I, I want, I want Don Vincenzo to uh, uh, look into his mind for a quick second. What the fuck? I was just canoodling with Cyril and now I'm thrown across the fucking thing. I was just, yeah. I, all right, it, 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 it's time for dad to step in. Oh, god. Uh, all right, also, so, now I have an Ev on me, disgusting. Disgusting. Um, so do whatever you want first, and then uh, then we'll get to uh, Don Vincenzo's scene. I'm line. mad. I'm a so mad drunk. Do, do do whatever first, then uh, then I'm we'll get to that. mad. There's an ebb on me. I pushed the little ebb off, and I <laughs> want to get that me. cobalt thing. When you have ebb on your face, ew. Oh. All right, go. Ahead. All right, so yeah, Evan Cyril, do you, or Evan Zinn, do you want to do anything? And then and then yes. Um, all right, we well, beat him go. up. All right, um, you you try you so you try and punch you try and punch um, uh, uh, Vincenzo. No, I want to use my glaive. I want to stab uh, him. He's fighting the, uh, the 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 dragonborn. No, yeah, not Vincenzo. Yeah, uh, Sam, Sam was the one who punched you. The Vincenzo fucking was... dickhead that punched him like. I want to stab my spear through his head. Uh, oh, as you go to try and gosh. as you go to try and um, to pull out your your um, your weapon, it you physically can't. Um, oh, is it the magic of this place? Yeah, you're not hurt at all. The, the, you don't really feel too much pain. Like you felt a little bit of pain, but it's kind of more of like, ow, like stop that, rather than like, oh, I'm gonna die or like I have my ribs broken or something like that. I'm pissed though. Okay, then I'm just gonna uppercut him. Like, leave me alone. Disgusting. Disgusting beast. Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, so, uh, uh, Sammy, Sammy, you, you go to punch Sammy, um, and you get him, you hit him in the chin, um, and he rises a little bit, but then, um, he oh, kind of is able to, like, problem. shake it off. He's no, like, No, I'm drunk as shit. <laughs> lightweight. It's about the alcohol in the veins, not how weak you are to alcohol. Uh, and he's gonna like grab oh, you no, and throw you on away. Three. Um, and then uh, Cyril's gonna run over to you, Athen. What did you want to do? Because uh, we'll go to you now. I'm talking to Don Vincenzo. In his You're mind. just talking to him, or like, yeah, yeah. yeah that's all I need to do. Thank are you me. telepathically or like in person? No, like he's shifted to a new plane of reality to talk to me. This is a big boy talk. You're He's talking with the mini cobalt Don on another plane? Okay, sure. Yeah, no, I've had enough. Yeah. Uh, Don Vincenzo would be like, what? Where am I? I don't think I was this drunk. Or, I don't think I... What? I don't remember being this drunk. That's not important. Listen. You should be overjoyed. That Eb has decided not to just spear your eyes out. This is very. So, this is that is a very dark comment. Oh, it's extremely. Now, there is no physical harm that could come to you here, but mental continue harm. on this course of path, and I will obliterate your soul. Now, what you're going to let happen. You're gonna let Zin beat up your fucking cousin. You're gonna let Eb do whatever the fuck she wants. You're gonna give her back her ring. Why? Oh, I'm going to send your soul to the fucking shadow realm, Vinny. 
Um, Don Vincenzo's Atham is in full. Uh, we're, we're going back to the full uh, Battle King garb right now, right? So, uh, like, mm-hmm. full gold armor, you know, glowing eyes, gold, glowing face, all that. Woo! Go, Dad, go. Go, Dad, go. Dad. 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 Uh, that's at the bar. <laughs> God. Dom and Chance is going to be like, I know that you must be a man of means with armor like that. And you make a good argument. But listen to me. No. There will be none of this mafia bullshit. Well, there will be no for- argument. You will accept what I say with a yes or a no, or I will rend your soul into the fucking ground. And I'm going to hold out my hand. Rink. Now. Well, I feel like this is on the astral plane. This is on the astral plane. Uh, and I will have you know, I swapped one of my disciplines for the one that rends souls as soon as I got Can I help Atham? Uh, I also uh, have, like, a natural thing where I'm, like, naturally intimidating. Yeah, I mean, hold on one sec. Um, he's going to be like... Alright, roll me an intimidation check for Atham. Ha <laughs> Ah, you... You, you fool. I, that's a D12. <laughs> you rolled a D12. Ah. L-M-A-O. 27. L-M-A-O. 27. Um, you can see that he, he, um, Don Vincenzo, the cobalt, um, is like, it's like, oh, jeez, all right, here. Freaking have it. Still, I mean, that was legally my property. You guys just stole from me, but um, I don't control. You're a criminal. You whatever he wants. Uh, Earn an honest living, living, and maybe I'll ex- maybe I'll acknowledge you. Continue to work for the Black Hand, and I will eradicate you. That was just a contract. They already fired us because we fucked up the other thing with the. Um, um, Do you think I care if it's a contract or not? I mean, some of us aren't rich to gold plate every armor we have. Jeez, man. We're just trying to have a nice bar fight here, you know? Like, a, a it's, it's part of the human condition. You want to so see a bar, a bar fight? fight? Then sit back and watch. Beat his ass. It's just... It's just part of the it's part of the sentient experience, man. All right. And so he's going to he's going to give you the the ring and he's going to back down. Um the ring appears mysteriously in Epp's pocket. Epp is like, "Oh, fuck yeah," and puts it on, doesn't realize it's doesn't realize it's the exact same ring. Mm. All right. And uh, once the once the, the session exits, Atham's going to like start throwing hands with the nearest uh just random person or, or just nearest cobalt? You no, know, it's a bar fight going on. It's all in good fun. No one can get hurt. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised you threatened him so bad. There's no, there's no potential harm. So yeah, so Adam, I mean, the nearest person is yeah, probably... Yeah, to the physical. Different. The soul is very different. That's true. Um, so there's, yeah, there's just like a... Um, people People are starting to rough each other up. There's still, there's a... The closest person to you is like a um, an elf with a, a, a glass of wine in their hand. Right, throw it out, buddy. And I, I swing before he has a chance to answer. Uh, you sent him flying across the uh, across the. the wow! Wow! And I throw, and I'm, I'm assuming the next person beside me tries to throw at me, so I'm just gonna like just keep up the cycle. Uh, yeah, you guys start engaging in a brawl. Um, Zen, we'll go back to you real quick. Um, uh, Lear and Cyril run over to you after you've been thrown into like a wall uh, when Sammy threw it into you. Um, um, I and and uh, Cyril's gonna look over at Lear and he's like, "What's wrong with him? He's he seems to be out of it." Um, and Lear's gonna be like, "You should learn this in Azamar class. Azamars and alcohol don't mix well. That's why I was drinking coffee. You're supposed to caffeinate before you drink." Um, he's like, "I saw in the little one. Uh, she had she had um, chain lightnings. They've got a lot of caffeine in it. Go grab one from her." Um, 
And Cyril is going to run over to um, Eb. Eb, what do you think you're doing during all this? You're you're kind of getting like um, swarmed a little bit by some cobalt. Don Vincenzo is back down and has backed away. Um, but still some of the other guys who remember you from taking all of the Perica, uh, they're all still a little myth that you basically did um, puff, puff, puff and never passed on the Perica mm-hmm. and just drank it all. Um, and then... Uh, uh, they're they're all they're all like throwing you around a bit. Um, but what what does Eb want to be doing? Eb is sick of being tossed around, and she's gonna uh, jump up and slam one of her new gauntlets into the ground so it does like the shockwave hu- superhero thing. So yeah, you you have this shockwave superhero moment where they're like one of the goblin or the, one of the kobolds is is coming at you like we're gonna mess you up, you perico hogging. And then as he says that, you slam into the ground. All of them lift up in kind of a stasis for a second. Uh, there's cracks forming everywhere across from where you uh, slammed into the ground, um, and they all fall to the ground and like fall on their ass and hurt themselves. Um, and Cyril runs over and he's like, "Wow, that was something." Um, real quick, can I have a, 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 um, a, a, a chain lightning, please, real quick? Yeah. Do you want um, regular or electric feel? Uh, w- which which has more caffeine in it? Uh, they're both above the legal limit. Fair enough. Give me the chain lightning then. I give him a chain lightning. All right. He he takes and starts sprinting back toward uh toward uh, uh Zin. Um. Ab pops open a chain lightning. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. After we see that ominous phase, we're going to go back to uh, Atham, who. Um, Atham, you see the bar of- has changed dramatically since the last uh, last few seconds. It has yeah. turned into like a full song and dance number. Atham's projecting the, the, his uh, memory of an opera into everyone's head, and now everyone's singing along to an opera drunkenly. <laughs> and beating the shit out of each other, like something like yes. that, like later. Yes. Like, yes. Like, yes. Like, it's yeah. No, it's it's it is excellent. It's <laughs> they come together with the punching sounds and fighting sounds to yeah, no, no, the, the, yeah, no, the the punches happen in uh, in tempo to uh, I don't know what's a good opera. Um, I know a bunch of operas. What type of opera? I don't want to. I don't want to return to uh, Antonia, like, but we, uh, uh, pizza time. <laughs> yeah, well, she's been in pizza place, so you. Yeah, what's what's a good opera, Reese? Um, I love Lich Arantula. Put it on, show. I'll travel to Um, uh, sure. El, what what is the yeah. name of it, Reese? El Trovatore, or you can do. Don Giovanni. Yeah, so Atham is singing, and uh, the rest is uh, the like the instruments are being uh, projected oh, in people's episode. minds. Let me. Musical episode. Oh my god, and we all sing and dance. Mm. Let me put this. Yeah, no, Atham looks. He, he looks younger. His like. It's like the crown is uh, like set, so it's like a set of uh, just on top of his head. It's like worn as a headband, like keep the hair in front of his face. Is uh, subtle touches that have like changed the entire uh, phys- his uh, entire appearance. Can you guys? Maybe it might be better if I did it like this. Can you hear what it's going on in the background while I'm talking? Yeah. Medium. What are you playing? I'm playing the opera, Don Giovanni Opera. Does it not work on music? It said that I tried to do the YouTube video for it, but it did not. I could try doing that again. I'll do it. I'll do it just by typing in John Giovanni Opera. You can do it. I'd on- be surprised if Spotify didn't have it. Spotify has it. I had to do it in a playlist for opera class last semester. Let's go. Wait, so you want a banger of an opera song? Um, it wouldn't. It, it needs to be a banger to be a bar fight. Here, wait, wait, it's wait, a bar wait. fight opera. There's a song that's a bar song in an opera. We're gonna find that. Um, uh, what is it called? 
from what I'll say. It's uh, not him. Don Giovanni. I mean, let me try. What's the other Shakespeare play? That's a one word name, and he's in love with the woman who's got a long name like Druskelda, but he's worried that he's cheating on her with someone else, and it takes place in Cyprus. Oh, Othello. Othello. Yes. I, I gotta Othello? start fucking. I gotta get a different bot in here. This one sucks. They I all kind of. Well, we don't, we don't have any bots in yet. Well, man. Yeah, Excuse me. Not in here, bro. Oh, fuck. It's all in Italian. I forgot. Oh, you know, you're, you're trying to copy from YouTube. Don't copy from YouTube. Copy the name. Because well, YouTube I, I does did, not I work anymore. Mozart, Don Giovanni Opera. Well, let me try that again. I'll try this one more time, and then we should probably go I'll just go on with the thing. You guys can move. Don Giovanni, you know, find the, spot, find the Spotify name and copy that. Because it, it, it uses Spotify now instead of... Uh, Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay. Yeah. Prudelli. Um, as the, the fat woman is singing, as they say, um, Atham is now... Uh, it's Atham <laughs> singing, you piece of shit. What? What? Atham's the fat oh, woman. Oh my... All right, well, Atham's a fat woman then. Okay, how do you like that? How do you like them apples? Um, I don't like them apples at all. Good. Uh, <laughs> two two very drunk ogres. Huh? Um... Two very drunk ogres uh, have, um, what are we going to say? Uh, Dude, this is uh, like two very drunk ogres have cornered Atham and are have saying, Oh, I guess your constitution was too frail. If only you had ordered another cocktail or something like that. Um, There's like a full beer in his hand. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You stupid pieces of Oh, You're a mean drunk. Serenity now. <laughs> serenity now. Serenity now. <laughs> They're like, man, this guy. This guy's a real killjoy. I will not receive insults for things that are not my fault. And he downs another drink. Um, as he does, they they wind up. To, uh, as as you do down that, they wind up to hit you again. Um, and just as they do, a large arm grabs the wrist of of both, or two large arms grabs the wrist of both of them. Um, and says, if you wanted a cocktail, why not a hot toddy? And it's Uncle Festog. What? I thought you could use some help, Balthazar, he says, and he grabs the two of them and chucks them. I know, I go by Cyrus <laughs> now. What? No, you're Are you at them. He's literally seen Atham. you as Atham, man. What? Nah, that can't be. <laughs> I think you've had it too, one too many, my friend. But don't worry, let's just... Atham is down old, eight at this point. Atham's down bad, man. <laughs> I was going to say, the other night when you said, I'm down bad while you were sick, I'm like, I, Reese, I don't know if that's what it means when you're sick. I know I what it means, but me and my friends use it as just, like, not good instead of down bad as in, like, I used it once. Man, I'm table. down bad for those antibiotics, say. man. I gotta say, I'm down. <laughs> trying to I mean, okay, well, listen. For me, it what? literally. The, means fuck it, the fucking down Zoomers down have down. ruined the English language. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. Don't hate me. I like saying down bad. I don't bad. know. I, I, I don't know if I'm a Zoomer or not. It's it's very unclear. It's very unclear. But I'm going to say, I just thought it was very funny when you said you were down bad when you were sick. I was like. Oh, I didn't. There's something I didn't know about Reese. She's she's a little bit into the viruses, huh? Um, no. She really likes. I the mean, viruses. it has like feeling bad. Uh huh. No, if I just happen to be a super, I retract all my previous statements. Hey, 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 Reese. Hey, Reese. Oh no. What do you think about this? Uh, let me draw it. Let me draw it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, so I'll, I'll try it. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Uh -huh. What do you think about that, huh? Viruses. Down bad. Oh, she's down, down bad. bad for that. This time I meant it. She's she's about to rizz up those those um mitochondria. Dude. I can't help it. Mitochondria. <laughs> Did you draw them and kiss me? No. <laughs> Cyril's okay. We're gonna come back to Cyril after that reveal. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, what? leave Atham in the middle of a like a fucking mess. I. 
Wait, is, is Uncle Festali actually there, or is it just, uh, one second, Max, Chris, me, which will break, I will break no, apart Uncle, the flow of the episode, there. just because. The age-old question, is it happening, or is Atham high? Yeah, you guys are having a lot of existential crises during this. I maybe I shouldn't have suggested playing a role-playing game while you were drunk. But I will say, yes, Toddy is actually there. And that was part of the reason I wanted to do this was because it's also going to double as our Festog episode, kind of. Um, a little late, but we did it. Yeah, well, I mean, we have to do it eventually. Um, so we're going to run over to um, Atham, or sorry, uh, Zinn, who um, uh, Cyril's going to kneel down. And she's going to be like, here, I freaking... Um, Lear told me to get the thing, so I got the thing for you. Um, the okay. chain lightning. Just, I don't know. Oh God, this is a lot. I need more water. Uh, and he's gonna like just snap, and like a big ball of water falls on his. Oh, that feels good. Uh, okay, here, take take the chain lightning. Um, chug. I don't know if it was smart to chug it, but okay, give me a con saving throw. That's what Lear said. Oh, I got plus two as they say. Oh, nice! You got a uh, nine? Con to 22. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, you do really well. You feel a crackling in your body, but it doesn't get overpower you. You feel kind of more in control of your body than you have for the past few minutes because of the, all the alcohol, and you're ready to face it. If Sammy's walking over towards you. What do you do? I freaking am I up? I'm standing up, right? Right. I cast these uh -huh. hands. I yeah, I do. I cast these hands, and I just walk up. And I just punch him in the face, hopefully sending him far, far back. You, you feel, you hear a crack and a boom as you connect with his face. Um, the lizard is sent flying over the tavern um, into a pile of chairs and tables and a bunch of silverware and glasses clatter um, as it does. and. You just hear a like a bunch of shit falling all over him, and you you've decked I, him. I you. don't want any milk. So I say as I do that. What, Lear and Cyril, you hear from the, you hear from the background there. What? I don't answer. <laughs> oh god. Um, Ab, what do you think Zin, they're like, doing? They say what, and Zin yeah, just like, just like know what they're talking about. Like, what is Eb doing? This is oh, a you, brawl. Oh, you do the chain lightning too. I want you to make a con saving throw. Oh my god, definitely. Let's see. Um, ten. Um, you become a big ball of electricity. I was hoping that would happen. Can I um shock people with it? Yeah. I reach out tentacles, so I look like one of the fops, and I just. Yeah, one of the one of the flumps still doesn't really understand what's going on, and he like kind of the approaches like. Guides me. What? The bee god guides me. I'm sure more cello's hand is on your shoulder, or tentacles on your shoulder. Um, well, one of the butterfly sting like a bee. One of, one of the flumps goes up and is like, "Bee, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Eb, Eb, baby, have you uh, have you considered our deal?" And like they they reach a tentacle and you just grab it and shock the shit. I was like, "Hey, wow. you think about our fucking <laughs> and starts freaking out and he no just falls." No for you. <laughs> but it tastes like chicken nuggets, and then he no falls. No just... just eat chicken nuggets, man. They're way easier to find. I only eat soul food, but I'm. <laughs> I will pay you two Episode two left. side points to fuck off. I will pay <laughs> like you last two time. more side points to fuck off. That was that is also a reasonable deal. Hard bargain, but I'll take it. Um. So Ev Ev now runs out. There's a bunch of cobalt still left. Do you go around shocking them? Um. Yeah, I shock anyone who looks at me wrong. There is no mercy. So Ev, Ev starts running around as an electrified little tree spirit. Um, 
<laughs> She's still in tree mode. She's still in tree mode. Just completely just shocking the shit out of anyone. There's a couple. She kind of goes a little overboard with it, too, where it's like there are some people who are just still trying to enjoy their meal. And she just like runs up on them and like dives at them and shocks the shit out of them. There's a couple of little fairies that are trying to like eat their little on the pizza table thing, a uh, little pizza plastic table thing. And they're like, hey, excuse me, can you please just let us eat our meal? Pizza, you zap. <laughs> <laughs> and they all fall to the ground zapped. Ebb's gone power crazy. This is worse than the bug zapper. Um, we cut to Atham and uh, uh, fucking Toddy back to back fighting off. So I'm messaging Morcella on the Cynet. <laughs> Atham and his delirium still. Oh! <laughs> Sometimes I can still hear his voice. <laughs> Wait, what is this? The Sunny... tiny pieces of them that's still in uh, Cyril. Sunny Cobalt. <laughs> Um, he's pro cobalt. He needs to die. Yeah, has really gotten pro die on everything recently. Oh, for real, he's man. Turning Zincor. Um. So you cut back to back. Uh, we cut to Atham and and um, uh, fucking Toddy back to back fighting off a bunch of drunken patrons. Like, tell you what, for this contest, instead of a drinking contest, why don't we see who can lay out more people? I haven't got, I'm like still half here. Well, I've been drinking since the morning, so I'm a quarter here, so it's fair playing field. All right, fair enough. All right, let's do, uh, let's do a, a, some strength roll offs here. Um, strength roll offs? Oh, fuck. Well, Todd is going to win this. Um, well, okay, I rolled 12 plus 2. I rolled a I rolled a fourteen. Let me roll this one. I, for him. It'll, it'll be a it'll be a sad day in hell if uh, Toddy rolls lower than a fourteen. What did you? Well, actually, um, I was going to say what? he's no. plus ten to strength, and he actually rolled a three on this one, so you win that first round. Um, so you I actually are this. able to knock out a bunch more, um, a bunch more. Uh, 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 patrons than he is um with the abilities um so why don't you describe it to me toddy is laying out a fair few amount of people there's kind of a, a stream of uh, or a mound of bodies that is like piling around you guys they're all unconscious they're not dead or anything but they're just you know yeah. knocked out um and no, so what, what do you Atham, think it looks like toddy is stronger atham is faster mm -hmm. so atham's kind of doing the pugilist like hitting to the chin kind of chin music kind of a thing and knocking people unconscious that way where Toddy is just brute strength swinging haymakers. Uh, we're going to have another roll off here. Uh, we're going to do three like the other one. Let's see if you can beat, we can beat him. He rolled a nat 20, so you're probably not going to win this one. Oh. Yeah, I rolled a 19. That feels bad. Oh, um, well, I, I mean, it's, I got a 21. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, no, he, 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 uh, as he sees you picking up, he's like, ha, I can't be falling apart behind a bean sprout like you. And so he starts picking up the pace with bean his punches. Sprout, you, piece, you, you, Festog, piece of shit. <laughs> I always been, always will be. <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. starts to punch harder and knock out more people. And then this is going to be the final one for the contest. Um, let's see. Ooh, all right. What did you get? Good question. Ooh, four. <laughs> <laughs> you you knock out the two ogres, which are quite larger than most of the other uh, occupants. But you can see that um, Toddy... In response, um, a bunch of uh, the fairies come close to him and he claps in front of him and, and uh, hits 14 of them. And he looks over at the two overs you down and he's like, it still only counts as two. Um, and goes <laughs> back to hitting it out. And you can see that slowly but surely his, um, his pile gets bigger than yours. Uh, and he actually wins this contest where you won the last one for drinking. So um, I believe you're still in the lead by one. 
but he's actually he's 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 won this one where he lost the last one, which is pretty nice for him. Uh, we're gonna cut over to uh, no. Zin. What do you think Zin's doing after um, he's been wrestling Sammy for the most part, or he's going to be doing something else? You think at this point? I mean, if he sent the stupid dragonborn flying, the dumb lizard, uh, and the lizard doesn't attack him again, he's just gonna—I don't know—kind of chill. I mean, he does kind of want to slaughter everyone, but he can't slaughter everyone. It's just fist fights, so he doesn't want to get his hands like dirty. Too dirty. Until, like, yeah, with their their like gross fist, you know. Mm-hmm. They got like <laughs> cooties. He doesn't want to get their gross blood on his hands from murdering them. Yeah, well, no, blood's fine because if they die, they die. That's good. But like, they can't die here, and he doesn't want to like get cooties from them, you know. Um. So. As Zinn is laying down after Sammy's been laid out completely and stuck in those pile of chairs and tables, um, Cyril's going to come over and kind of sit beside him, and he's going to be like, you know, I checked the date while we were underground. Yay. We missed uh, Festog. Oh. That's fine. Well, not exactly. Um, he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out another granite block. Uh, he's gonna be like, I know you always liked music, so I got you this. And he gives it to <laughs> He gives it to he gives it to he gives it to Sin. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He's happy for them. He's happy I'm very for glad. Them. Uh, he gives it to Zen and he's like I know that you oh. had a mu- I know that you always wanted a music block, so I figured when you got one, you could use these. These are they're, they're granite pods. You know, you can put them in your ear and you can listen to your music that way. Oh, God, King! He's very happy with the granite. With the granite. What is what is what does Zin look like though? Is he, is he smiling out? At, um, all right. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. He's smiling. He's kind of grinning. He goes like. Thank, thank you. I. My parents are here. One sec. Okay. We'll go over to Eb while we're, where they're processing that. Eb, what do you think you're doing after? You know, you're kind of, you've been zapping, you've been running around zapping everyone. Um, what do you, what do you think? Um, has Ed wanted to do anything else? She sees Uncle Festog is there. She sees that Zin and Cyril are having fun. Lear is just in the in the thing sipping coffee out of his mug. Um, Ed wants to go over to Lear. Him, I'm back. Okay. Um. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go over to Ed real quick, and then we'll go back. Okay. To cool. Cyril huh. and Zin. So Lear's Ed wants look- to go over to Lear. Just like. Lear is kind of like sitting, he's like leaning cross-legged like against the wall, sipping the coffee, spiked coffee, and he's going to be like, uh, what do you want? So you're like Zin's sensei. What do you know about the Church of Purity? Zin's part of it, and they don't like cursed objects inside their buildings. Mm. <laughs> you reek of cursed energy, I might add. But Thank you. I haven't taken a bath in a month. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's fair for me as well. So, can't judge. Whoa, whoa, man. <laughs> He's been stuck on an assassination mission for like an entire month. All right, give him a give him a break. Okay, 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 okay. Um, he's gonna be like, he's gonna look over at Zin, who's uh, canoodling with Cyril, and he's gonna be like, "We Azamar are raised together in the monastery, depending on when we appear." Zin and I are the closest in age among the current Azamar. So, no, I'm not his sensei. I didn't teach him. 
in the monastery at least. Although I've tried to toughen him up, and you'll see you can see how that he points it's in currently canoodling worked out. Yeah, he's pretty tough. Yeah. Not as tough as me though, but I mean, I'm ripped, and Eb flexes her skinny arms. Give me a performance check. Ha. Oh my goodness. Ha ha ha, 15. You look pretty, he's like, you do look pretty ripped, actually. I'll admit that. Yeah. Eb fist for, pumps. Yeah. Between you and me, I think he's been having too many paladin parmas. They were always his weakness. Yeah, he carries them around even now. Sometimes I catch them snacking late at oh, night. Oh, God, I still... The chaplain would... Every time he would sneak into the kitchen at night. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Zin and I... We grew up together in a way, you could say. And I was his... I was a few years older than him. Been at this job longer. But no, I'm not his sensei. I don't know. The way he was worried about you when we were in the Underdark seems like you were somewhat pretty important. Really? Well, I don't know how much you're able to speak on that when you haven't noticed the owl following you around all night. Oh, I've always noticed the owl following around, but that's pretty obvious. It's gonna be like, oh yeah, where, where is it right now? To do that one out. Where where is the owl right now? Uh, Ab looks at him and then looks towards Cyril and Zin and then looks back at him and is like, "Is the owl not code?" Do you remember who the owl usually follows? Is, doesn't it follow Cyril? Isn't it Cyril's um, animal? Mantis. Nope. Mantis. The owl follows Mantis? Mantis is an arcane trickster. That's their familiar is, a, is an owl. They've had it since Ravonia. Oh, okay. I didn't remember that. It's okay. Uh, it's fine. So then Ev yeah. goes like, owl? Man, or Mantis. Lear's going to point to the tree, um, one of the tree ants, and uh, uh, you can see that there's an owl perched that's been watching you this entire time um, inside them. <laughs> well, that's new information. Um, it doesn't seem to be hostile, at least, so... I guess someone's concerned about you, whoever they are. No, I, I, I know the owl, but but anyway, so you know Zin from when you were little. Did he ever not have luxurious hair? It's always so shiny. I hate it. I want it. Lear's going to say no, and then immediately he's going to disappear into shadow and, and teleport away from you. What? Eb wants to misty step to wherever Lear went. My god, he just wants to get away. Tell you what, if you can guess where he went, I'll let you do that. Um, most likely he would be with Cyril and Zen, but he seems like he would be disgusted by the lovey-doveyness of that situation. He, like, might have begrudging charm for Atham because adults in this scenario, but he's not really an adult. Um, I imagine if he can go directly across their semicircle from Ebb, that's where he would go. Like, the secluded corner. Unfortunately, that is not correct. You do misty step over to Cyril and Zinn. There oh, were God. hints about where he wanted to go, so you could have guessed that. Was it the owl? Kind of close. He, did... he wants to escape. He wants to go back to the trees. Was tree. it the roof? It's always the roof. Oh. He wants to go back to the trees. It he is always the, the trees the roof. like he likes it to do. Oh, my God. The... 
I won't reveal this. When in doubt, choose Rue. We're um, we're gonna go over to um, Cyril and Zin real quick. I want everybody to make me a con saving throw real quick. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. But everybody make me a con saving throw, and then I'll I'll return to this. Well, I for sure rolled a uh, twenty because he's gone. Um, I I I think you all. I think we all got excellent luck just now. Now that he's gone. He would puke his entire stomach out. Listen, buddy, I'm I'm I'm. You're so lucky. This is the Dickinson channel. I would, I would mute you right now for my unpopular beliefs. Yeah, nice. That is See, dictatorship. Listen. I'll, I'll roll a different one. Maybe that one's wrong. Break out. What? No. Why? Don't do. No, no. Never. Never. Never re-roll at twenty. <laughs> Look at him. He's so sweet. Aww. Gray cat. Oh, Was that gray cat or black cat? This one's gray cat. Okay, yeah, because I thought he was gray, but I couldn't tell if he was black. Okay. He gray is cat. big. He is very He's large. Such... He's such a big boy. Oh, I love him. My... All right. What's everybody's con saving throw at? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I wrote well for once. Eighteen. All right, you all pass for now. To see how um, drunk our characters are. Atham, we'll go to you real quick. All right. Um, I, I think I, I would have seen your ter- teleport away, right? Yeah, you could have. I'm I'm a bit more in tune with the uh, with the mind. I would know where he would have went. Yeah. Um. Actually, with Lear, no. Lear, Lear is is one of the more stealthy Asimar, and plus Asimar at a higher level have more protection against telepathic and psychic abilities. So, um, you can try and guess the same as the others. If you do, I'll let you find him. If not, it's a complete a guess. I'm sorry. What? It's a complete guess. Well, not a complete guess. Again, I feel like I've given clues as to where things are meant to be going. You could also follow Max's advice. Maybe he's up on the roof. You never know. It'll be, it, it will be a cold oh, day in hell now. before I listen to Max on anything. Cool. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Honestly, the, the roof is probably the most likely place. Um... I kind of want to just check out the roof because of that, because I honestly, it's it's been such a gap between when you last said the like hints that I don't I don't remember any of them. Yo, what the fuck is yo, this? this is All right, so are you gonna teleport? Do you have a teleport ability? I don't have a teleport ability. No, no. All right, so you search the roof for a mind. Um. Uh. Yeah, Morshell, if you could if you could find some. So what's it called? You have admin abilities. So also, I think I think anyone can find the chip bot. I don't even know. Anyway, or, so no, you, we, you, we don't, I don't think we have authority over the chip. I think only the uh, only the admins do. Yeah, or maybe maybe I'm thinking of um, Craig. 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 Um, so you search the roof, uh, and you do find a mind. Uh, what do you say to it? What? What's up, do baby? I, do I know who the mind is. I'm not going to just say something like just to anyone. Whoa! I want to know sorry, who it is, buddy. Well, I was. Well, I was, all right, listen. If it, all if right. I don't know who it is, I'm just going to say hello. Hello, who are you? Um, you're just going to hear back. Oh, what the fuck? Um, this is uh, uh, this is Mantis. The ultimate assassin of the hand. Uh, who is this? Beware, for your answer might cause you to die. Well, that's interesting, but not who I was looking for. Um, oh. I, well, I, I'm still interested. This, this, is, this, is, 
No, hold on. I can, I can be interesting. Hold on. Don't this, go. This is said met psychically. Listen, there's multiple layers here. You got... Listen, Sean, I know you're not really in tune with this whole D&D thing, but it's like a whole layers thing. Um, and that is not one. Well, hold um, on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Don't go. I'm still cool. Layers. Listen. Listen, there's... I'm like an onion. I, I've got layers, too. No, no, no. I've got layers. You're an NPC. You don't have layers. Um, whoa, whoa, that is breaking the fourth wall, man. That's not cool. That's so mean. Cyril to that. Listen, you acknowledge the fourth wall. I did not. Just say. Is Cyril an NPC or he's kind of both? <laughs> I think Cyril is borderline, and I think that's what makes him. Oh it my god. Anyway, anyways, so uh, okay, yeah, no, I um <laughs> I'm looking for Lear at the moment. Man, it's on the roof. Interesting. Cool. Not well. You never existed. It was always Mantis. <laughs> Le- no. Lear was always. Mantis. Now that would be funny. That would be real. Man- funny. Mantis that is going to say, possible. "Wait, wait, wait." I, you're that Atham guy, aren't you? What? Well, the gold give it away? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Listen. Before you go, I just want to ask one question. Is Eb okay? Eb is satisfactory. Oh. And I mean that in the most sincere of senses. And he goes, I okay. die in... And I mean that in a malicious way. I mean that in a quite literal way. I mean, I saw through the owl what you did to that to that uh, Don Vincenzo guy. That was pretty fucked up, man. I gotta say. What, are you pro-mafia? No, but I mean, like, uh, you know what, never mind. We're, I don't want to, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to get it. I'm scared of you. I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Alright, well, the search for Lear continues. We're gonna cut back to um, Eb and uh, or sorry, no, uh, Cyril and Zin. Um, Cyril is going to be. Um, I, that was a pretty good bar song, honest. That felt more like Piano Man to me than anything. Um, I don't love a good Piano Man. Uh, I do love me a good Piano Man. Um, Nothing sounds more like Piano Man than the actual song Piano Man. Um, <laughs> While Cyril and Zinn are um, kind of watching the cast unfold around them, um, you just the... got a gift. Be happy. Zinn's gonna say he's, he's gonna lean over. He's gonna be like, "Don't tell the higher ups because we're not supposed to celebrate the pagan holiday." But I did it just because it'd be fun. Um, thank okay. You, thank, thank you. Um. Zin's gonna ask, uh, Cyril's gonna say, "Can I ask for?" I know it's a bit of a oh god, sorry. Uh, I know it's a bit of a faux pas, but um, can I ask for a present in return? Yeah, yeah. I got like, I think I got like two dollars. No, 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 no. I mean, can I ask a question? And can you answer it honestly? Yeah. After the after the Scholastica and, and you know we were separated, did you did you ever think about me? Yo. <laughs> I just I just want to know. That's all. Oh. It's no big deal. I mean, it's no big deal. It's not, it's, no, it's fine. Okay, okay. okay. So question. Jin looks away a little bit, can't make eye contact, like cheeks are glowing. Um, like really quietly goes like, yes. I mean, well, and it's, you know. I 
nice. What? Why, no, why, not, why do you why do you ask? Uh, nothing. Sh- shut up. You asked yeah, that question. Uh, uh, you, sh- you shut up. Yeah. I will. I'm tired. Um Yeah. Um we're gonna go over from that real quick to um Ab, is there anything you leave? You see that Uncle Toddy is there. You see that everybody's there. You see the owl's been there. You, Lear has jumped away. Is there anything else you would like to do? They viciously make out. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they, they viciously. Viciously. Oh my they god, you guys are sick. Viciously. You are some sick people. I'm just joking. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I had to say that. It was just so funny. Eb, is there anything you wanted to do? Eb doesn't realize the connection with the owl. Um, I don't know. She tried to track down Lear. It didn't really work. She doesn't want to bug um, Cyril and Zinn because Cyril's finally getting some quality time with him. And Atham looks angry. <laughs> Yeah, Adam's was an angry drunk, man. I didn't realize this. No, Adam's not an angry drunk. He's just generally angry. He's been angry he's since the EGOT incident. I think Cameron's the angry drunk, and that's just him projecting. No. He's a happy angry drunk. A very I'm rare a loud drunk. It's like an I AB tell. positive. I can tell. No, that is true. That is true. So tell you what, why doesn't everybody, everybody give me a constitution saving throw real quick again, and let's see see how this works. Yo. 18. Okay. Hey, 17. Where's my dice? Oh, there it is. What do I have? Wait, what is it? Con? Con saving throw, yeah. Six. <laughs> Back How appropriate. Regular Zid. Um, all this crazy shit is going on. You know, uh, Atham and and uh, un- uh, Uncle Festog are are beating the shit out of people. Zin and Cyril are are having romantic progress. Um, Eb is contemplative over life. Uh, Apollos is going to come in and say, like, "Hey guys, I got the horses." Uh, oh. Um, I'm not fucking dealing with this, and then walks out. Um, and as the night goes on, you find that you guys have been drinking so much that um, you feel the need to just kind of pass out and sleep. And that's where they all, how it all ends, is that um, Cyril and Zinn, they pass out in each other's arms. Um, Ebb is passed out uh, on the side wall where she was talking with Lear, and somebody puts a blanket on her. Somebody else puts a pillow behind her, Ed. But we don't know who. Um, you do hear a hoot on one of them. Maybe I'll tell you which if you roll for it. I don't know. Um, Atham, as he has done in not in many centuries past, but not for a long time, has finally let himself go a little bit and had some fun with his friend, Uncle Festog, beating the shit out of a bunch of uh, bar patrons and falls asleep um, on top of a mound of enemies that he has knocked out in his contest with Uncle Festog, as well as Uncle Festog has also fallen asleep on top of said mound, and they have enjoyed a late Festog um, celebration together. Uh, As the gang falls asleep... In this crazy, crazy barroom brawl, and the world spins away from them as they all have a merry fest hog good night um, in this weird atmosphere. Um, and that's oh, where we think we're going to end it for tonight, if that's all right with everybody. That was good. My goodness. That was good. That was good. That was adorable. That was. So I would have liked a drunk talk with Lear, but you know, it's all right. I mean, I would have liked you to have one, but I Sorry, figured I'm that it is late. Time. You know, it is late. It is late, and also, I feel like 
for reference, Lear was is in the top of the trance right now, and I feel like I that knew was it. kind of yeah. See, see, Self did know it. She figured it out because he, he hid in the trees last, last session, and yeah. he was looking at the trees because he wanted to hide away there because he saw no, the mystery. Wrong. See, that would be so obvious it wouldn't need to be mentioned though, because that's like in the literal middle of everything. I mean, yes, Look, but I'm Lear literally... is also the like assassin Asimar, so he's one of like the top hiders in the world. He's hide and seek champion. Five years running, bro. Um, He's really you're gonna good. You're going to say that while Eb is right there? I know, right? Yeah, I'm I, sorry. Look, I, I don't mean to disrespect her sneakiest sneak so title. Look, she just uh, never tested her sneak. Her, yes, Lear exactly. Is a, Lear is a champion. He's like... Like, his like physical age is around like 30, right? He's alive a lot longer than Eb has been. He's a I bet I could expert. hide somewhere in this room and Lear would never find me. She probably well, would not look for it. He probably would not care to look for it. We're her. not in a room well, well, or in a Lear, Lear, Lear is more of like in his physical prime if he was a human. Well, I mean, he's kind of a human. Did you just anyway. say we're not in a room or in a server? Yeah, I did. Jesus Got Christ. him. GG's. Well, I mean, also, it's <laughs> it's you, you mentioned that Lear is only a few years older than... than Unless Lear. Max is going to hide in his room. He's a few years older as in like He's like late twenties, early thirties. That's where I thought he was like mid to late twenties. Yeah. Um, but late, uh, happy belated birthday to Reese or Eb. Um, I hope that this was a a drunk session um, worthy of your birthday. I hope everybody had fun with it. Um, I think this was successful for the most part. <laughs> We're in a straight line. Yeah. Did everybody? Everybody had a good time. Everybody enjoyed themselves. That was fun. That was cute. Was I got I got my serotonin me. for the week. <laughs> What'd you say, Cameron? What? Huh? <laughs> anyway, you said that was weak. Uh, Is that what you said? I don't know. I don't know what I said. But anyway, yeah, listen, you heard it, not me. <laughs> wow, now I have two things I have to upload so. tomorrow. Ugh. Oh my god! I'll give you. You don't have to upload no. that tomorrow. I I want to though, because then I cannot think about it. Well, what, what what was your review as the sober person among us who was also watching it from the outside? Did you have fun, Max? Uh, I had a lot of fun. I really liked everyone except Atham. And this isn't even like a joke on I don't like Atham at this point. This is like what he did was scary and mean and like needlessly cruel. It was, was funny. Well, he got the mushroom. ring back. That was, was I was cheering for dad. I was cheering for dad. Listen, he could have got You're a mushroom to and you do not belong in this around. world. You're He's dead. dead. Get out. I just don't see where you can get off saying that. You are I'm dead and someone ban him. While you go up to people and go, oh, I'm going to what rent your soul. At least they're alive inside of me. No, they're not. They're not. They're not alive inside of you. You piece of mushroom shit. You are a blight upon this world because Listen. you consume the lives of the people you kill. You eat children. I mean, that was the funny thing is I have to say, I'm really glad I got the uh, the, the Nintendo 64 video into the, the tavern posting because I kept thinking of that joke every time we mentioned that eating children thing with Morcella because I just just imagine the, the Nintendo 64 shoving the child into the slot. Listen, I tell a lot of shit, but None of it will consume, will, will ever <laughs> be commensurate to eating a child. You that is true, though. But don't, don't worry, Morcella. We'll we'll put Cameron in his place at some point. Okay, that's that's what he really wants. Is he just you know he he's always angry because he wants someone to yell at him like with the with yeah. the hop slam stuff. Where's you the know? fucking band button? I found the video that I was going to use to respond to the, the Nintendo sixty four video. <laughs> I fucking, I can't fucking ban him. <laughs> I'll fucking do they can. Bullshit. <laughs> you I and Cameron both love that fucking that fucking meme. Um, Bullshit. I can't. Ban well, as long, as, Reese, did you feel like there was some good? I, you know, we had some good character development in there. I thought for everybody. They had this stuff. I thought so too. I mean, except it's for, always except for Atham. Atham. It was so good. Atham, I really had a backslide in his character development. I feel like he went Atham's toward the evil side. Atham's been backsliding ever since the Underdark. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I think so too. You've only He's known sad. me as the Underdark. You, you piece lost of shit. His true equal. He <laughs> lost his true equal. It's really sad. Exactly. Yeah, he's lost to that Morcella as his moral compass. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're a mushroom. <laughs> Atham, Cameron, tavern posting. Well, as as long as as long as as long as you had fun, um, Reese, as your is your birthday and drunk um, session um, thing. I, I hope everybody this lives up to everyone's expectations. As the drunk session, uh, I think we had a good um, good one here. I think you guys did a good job role playing. I think we did a lot of the fun stuff that I wanted to do. I'm glad that we got to include Uncle Toddy. Uh, or Uncle Festog, fucking Toddy, uh, as part of it, because this is also our Festog episode uh, for the Christmas season, which is now way overdue, yes, but whatever. So, um, wow. That's fun. I mean, yeah, you know. Um, let the Christmas us... gift, bro. The Festog gift. <laughs> let us... Uh, um... What's the Festog equivalent of the Grinch? <laughs> Uh well they fought they fought pretty much they the, fought the Grinch, Grinch. It's more Chilla, of course, because he steals children. I had a I had a Damn. I had a like a green colored um a green furred um I don't remember what Ass. the what what was the, what's the cat species in D and D? Tabaxi, I think. It tabaxi, is. yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, tabaxi. Um I had a green yeah, last festival episode. I had a green colored Tabaxi that stole all of the presents in town, and they still didn't fucking get that it was supposed to be the Grinch. Max, so that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna miss the green part. <laughs> I would consider the Grinch to be more of a bugbear than anything else. Whatever. All right, everybody, vote on your quote of the day. We got some good ones in here. Ink me. I think uh, for me, it's between the um, the never stop planning with the ends thing or the the roll for Eb's abandonment issues. Both of those are pretty good. Ditto. You get me. Jeez, I I zoned out for like a minute, and then <laughs> what the fuck happened at the end? I was, oh. oh. What the fuck, Max? What did you do? Yeah, no. See, he, he listen. I I may be awful, but he is more cursed than me. That is true. That is... <laughs> oh, I'm cursed. I I'm cursed, but I'm free. No, you're not free. You're you're enslaved to your own uh, curse. Better. What is it? Better to die cur- standing cursed <laughs> than 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 be be normal on my knees or something like that. Yeah, it's better to listen. rule. First, then serve normal. You are a mushroom. That's just a fact. That's not a. That's like. That's not an insult. That's true. It is an insult. Now, listen. I will embed it into mortal culture. Holy shit! That that drawing. That is literally Athamore. That drawing, though, it's suggestible. See, I'm right. I'm weird, but I'm right. That is literally Athamore. <laughs> All right, Atham. Also, quick, click winner. Jokes for, on you! I'm like the winner for Eb's abandonment issues. Is he like a vampire. Eb's abandonment issues. Okay, which one win? Yeah, everybody. You guys all had fun. Everybody's good. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting Bye. that image in the video for a frame. <laughs> Here, um, Cameron. Cameron, make sure you make sure you do the um the.